Yo, what's going on? It's your boy. We back. Shinobi Gaines in the building with Taurus. Matt the problem. And we got my man Moan in the what building. Up? We back again. Uh, you know what we do. We talk our shit. Um, movie reviews. Touch on some music. It's like I said, my name's Shinobi Gaines. These guys are pros. Um, if you think of what I'm thinking, aim for the bushes. All right. Hey. How'd y'all feel about that one? A little, uh, whatever, you know, a little better. You know Keep working. Keep working, you know. Uh, what's going on? What, what the fuck going on? We done kicked a lot of shit up in here. I mean, it's been about 30, 45 minutes kicking it. How y'all feeling? Man, feeling good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Feeling I feel good. good today. Let's start with Moan. I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. African music got us a little hype in here and shit. The African music? Yeah. You feeling it? I'm feeling I, it. I, I ain't feeling you. it, though. But it's, uh, what, what's the weekend been like for you, Moan? My weekend was dry as shit. Mm. Didn't really do much. It was the highlight of the weekend, Panther's birthday? Yeah, it was. Mm. It was fun. Brought your daughter? Yeah, brought my daughter. She had fun and shit. Yeah. She she was I don't I don't like how she was hyper that night though. She was, it was she, she didn't she didn't go to sleep till like twelve. Ooh. So yeah. <laughs> she was all the way cranked she, all the way up. She was running shit. around, jumping on shit. I couldn't she get it. She had got a bit. little taste and then she was I like think it was that cake, bro. Oh, you let her eat the cake. She had a whole cake. <laughs> and like, see, that's cake. one thing you're gonna have to learn. See, with this shit is like, the sugar, you can't really let it go past four or five o'clock, cause that sugar will last you till midnight. She had like three Capri Suns too. So. Oh, you man. You got a, you got a different effect on them shorties. Like they just wow, they act up. wow. <laughs> other than that, wow. other than that, I, I, yeah, I only slept for like two hours. And then I seen you got something on the uh, in the DMs you were been working on for like three three years. Getting ready to close. Hey, let's not be doing that though. <laughs> you getting get ready to close on that? I don't know yet. Maybe we'll, you know, shake hands with it eventually. Well, Moan's a closer. He's a he's a closer. I'll say that about him for sure. Uh, <laughs> get that shit done, man. Get it done. All right, um, Taurus, where, where you been? Same shit. Man, I'm feeling good. Same old shit, man. <laughs> Skip, Skip that. that. <laughs> feeling real good, man. Why? Happy to be here, man. I know you're happy to be going. here. Taurus been getting a lot of love this uh, last week, and they be like, Taurus is good for the show, man. I'm feeling Taurus. Nah, not really like that. Just been chilling, <laughs> you know, a few little whatever, whatever, but it's cool. After the birthday party, I called him because a couple people was talking in his ear. I know he was feeling himself. He was like, ah. Got that David Ruffin effect a little bit. This nigga think he's David, David Ruffin, Ruffin in the show already, <laughs> though. <laughs> That's funny, Type no. Shit. So, you, so it's the second episode. How you feeling it? How you feeling your, 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 your role right now? Man, you know, uh, I'm feeling good. I think, um, look, yeah. we got a long ways to go, and yeah. we're going to keep working, but uh, I'm feeling good so far, so let's let's get it started. And uh, now we, you know, last but not, actually, I, I'm, I'm going to come after, you know, that's like I always do. Pause. Pause. Uh, Matt, uh, what's going on with you? <laughs> uh, nothing good. Ready for this? Yeah. Are you going to be one of those guys? <laughs> <laughs> what goes last way? Well, nothing. What kind of guys? Good. I got nothing going on. I don't do nothing, you know. I'm fine. Go to work. Hey, you been out there fixing them cars and shit? That's all I do. I go home go to work. <laughs> hey, man, he getting after them cars. Like I said, that's Big all I do. Shit. I was just in the car with him, bro. He got the Too Fast, Too Furious set up in the, in the Mustang. I swear, I, I got car sick in that bitch. I, I'm getting old, but. I'm actually not comfortable parking behind you. <laughs> 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 what, what is that? I feel like I'm beneath you. Oh. Ooh, I mean, you know, it's cool though. It's we could have insert we could have insert a racial joke. But look, the, we're not if you're not that. fixing no motherfucking uh, transmissions and shit, I don't even count none of this shit. We need to do transmissions. <laughs> done, don't nobody Fuck. do transmission, bro. That's like a specialty. Nah, we gotta learn how to do. Yeah, even at the shop, we got like two guys who do that. That's it. What did you uh, do over the weekend, Mac? I didn't send you the invite oh. to Panther's birthday because yeah, I don't no, know why. I, I didn't know nothing about it until I saw it on Facebook. I figured we'd need um, three or four episodes from you before I could give you the is that what it is? kids three, B-Day four, party so. invites and shit. I've only seen that. Damn, like, that's cool. Anyway, so, yeah. You saw him today. <laughs> Today's number three. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what you do, my bad, I keep interrupting. So we got nothing. I've been. I've just been trying to go hard on these movies. That's kind of taking up all my. Oh, time. you've been you've been on the on the curriculum. You've been, been, oh, now you act like it's been it's been taking all your time. Or you couldn't do shit else. Couldn't play with the kids. Or nothing. I've been watching these movies all day. Well, I didn't have my kids this weekend, so you did it. No, I have them every other weekend. So you was at the crib uh, beating off and playing Call of Duty most of the week. Type shit. I mean, mostly beating off, but yeah. <laughs> 
I, be, I believe it. See, he's got this like sarcastic, <laughs> sarcastic thing, you know, and he'll be like, he's truthfully sarcastic. Yeah, I like I do this shit and I'll make a joke and it's like a halfway. True shit. Him. It's a real good way to hide it. Beating and sleeping. All right, me myself, you already know. Two of y'all know. Two of the three. Panthers' birthday is my son's birthday. He turned two. Brought him up in there, pump it up. Soon as I brought him in the room, he's just like, wow. Made my day. That made my whole weekend, really. Friday, went to see the little things that we're going to talk about. Uh, oh, you went to the show? I went to see it on oh. the screen. I had to. I had to get back in the movie theaters, actually. Why was I invited? You, you invited, invited yourself, yourself last time. Well, but you didn't tell me, though. Nah, that, you, you know, we, I had to do my own little thing. Just, I had to do my own thing. Cool. Oh, cool. you, we, I, we go some other time, you know what I'm saying? But, Did you pay the little $100 to do the, the whole little, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but my homie, shout out to Nate P, uh, in a couple weekends, I think on a, whatever, not next Friday, but the Friday after, he written it <coughs> out. He He's written a spot out for, for his birthday, so we're going to check that's out whatever crazy. movie my he's got. just going to be written out the movie theater, that's the fuck. Just be fucking, right? That's what I was thinking, <laughs> yeah. A little. That's better. That's cheaper than a hotel, damn it. It really is. But on, a, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. On a side note, shit, the stocks and all that shit just went up. So I don't know if they're gonna be doing that shit no more uh, after this Ain't month. Ain't no telling and, what's gonna happen. It's not looking too AMC good. Though, isn't it? Uh, and yeah, as you, far as the theaters. Yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. They the biggest. I mean, it's all type of other well, shit. Yeah, the cinemas yeah. and all that shit. But they the only ones open right now, right? No, nah, it's a. Bu- I went to. Uh, I ain't trying to give out my location so people can kind of try to run up on me, but I went to a little <laughs> schmillow schmeek, nigga, like a <laughs> pillow sleek, you know what I'm saying? Willow's like, Peak. Niggas, are, you already fucked it up. We know what you're talking about. Widow's nigga. Peak, you know That's what, what I'm I saying? Said. Uh, okay. You already exposed yourself. It's too late. So, uh, yeah, you might find I mean, a new spot, nigga. I gave it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I went to the movies. It was Panther's birthday. That was dope. I was exhausted. The crib's still a motherfucking mess from all the toys that everybody got them. Um, shit. Today, caught up on my curriculum. They got a lot of nerves complaining about all the toys we got. Yes, there's toys everywhere, nigga. We got, we got the young man some new toys to play with, <laughs> nigga. I was, I was hoping oh, for nigga. more. I was hoping for more clothes, but it is what it is. He don't play with that. You wasn't even gonna like. Like, I don't even like this shirt, nigga. These shorts is weak. Ah, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. We, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. We. Okay. That's a that's a real thing, though. I got my. My kids have ninety percent of the toys they have in their room. They don't play with. It's just cluttered with toys they don't play with. They, my kids play with the boxes, bro. The <laughs> new thing with <laughs> kids they is they don't give a fuck about no toy or nothing. So that's, uh, that's no, they just send the tablets the and thing. shit. Oh yeah. They don't give a, yeah, but then how long they gonna fuck with them tablets before they be like, ah, fuck this shit? No, nah, my son will be on the tablet yeah. till I pull him off, and when I take it away, he's ready to box. He's turning up on your ass. Too. Like little, he be catch. I be having to look at him like, and he's he know it's me. <laughs> Once he know it's me, he be like. Ah, <laughs> that's my dude though. Uh, but other than that, we here. I'm 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 happy we finally here. Aim for the bushes. Uh, fresh out of Minneapolis. All right, so we're gonna do this every time. Uh, home of the Mall of America. Okay. Um, home of Prince, Purple Rain. Um, I forgot to mention Jimmy Jam, Terry, Terry Lewis. Lewis. Legends, Rhythm mm. Nation creators, you know what I'm saying? They're responsible for Janet Jackson, New Editions, uh, and a gang of us artists and song writing credits. Brock Lesnar, you know, yeah. who? Brock Lesnar. Uh, I think he's from North Dakota, but he nah, went to the U of M. He went here. to the U of M. Oh, okay. I don't know, but I got some shit for you. We can't uh, forget about next, the next niggas. Oh, oh, niggas <laughs> forgot. Uh, what's that song? Uh. <laughs> My wifey. Stop fucking lying. Uh, <laughs> Niggas forget about it. <laughs> um, what else do we got? Um, I got some. Oh, yeah. Mighty Ducks. First half. Uh, First, First Avenue. Ducks, mm-hmm. Jingle All the Way, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I said that before. I forgot to mention this last time. The Mayo Clinic. That's one of the number one Ooh. hospitals yeah, in the true. country. Uh, the presidents be flying in to go to the Mayo yes. Clinic. That's Talk. Rochester, though. That's the state. That's not, the, that's not Minneapolis, though. My, Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay, so from yeah. Minnesota, whatever. I mean, whatever. Target Ooh, headquarters. Fucking, I'm not fucking. I'm just saying. But check this out. I got a couple. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple little funky facts for you though, and you I, may know one of them. Hey, drop some facts on niggas right quick, man. Come on. So we are. We're the home of Target. Yeah, the Target yep. headquarters. Okay, so y'all knew that, but yep. did y'all know that we was the home of Best Buy? Yep. I didn't know that. Yes, nigga, we okay. knew that. Okay, so y'all know that. But so that, keep telling us. All, yeah, go ahead. Did you know that? Uh, we invented the toaster? 
1926 the toaster was invented here bro and then on top of that just to like on some medical advancement shit we invented the pacemaker that's very important the big Boston, time no 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 medtronic medtronic i worked so. there Fun fact. I suppose Boston science. We could leave that toaster Boston. shit out there. There's other shit. That the we could toaster get to. was yeah, essential, cool. bro. The toaster. Yeah, 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 we don't give a fuck about no toaster. Why you act like you don't use a on. toaster? Oh, fuck a toaster, nigga. What? But you never pop tarts. You never did that. I don't give a fuck. I low key don't eat pop tarts in a toaster. Bro. Come on, bro. bro I don't. I eat them just straight out the package, nigga. I don't I, fuck I, with I can't no eat a cold I ass eat pop tart. Too, Let's ask a basic question. Have you ever ate toast? <laughs> yeah, I, I make my toast on the motherfucking stove. Come top, on, nigga. You're I'm that nigga. Toast on the yeah. Now he's just trying to be this funny. Nigga bro. Toast take the toast, butter shit. that shit up, throw that shit on the uh, skillet. Bro, it's, it's Come cold. on, you it's ain't have it like that. You ain't have That's it like how that. I do oh, it let me today. guess, nigga. When you got on your own, nigga, you start ironing it in a fucking paper bag. <laughs> bro. Come on, bro. Get out of here. You already know. <laughs> you think you Denzel? We don't need no toasters, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Fuck a toaster. It's called toast. Exactly. What I'm saying is, that's a lazy ass. Whether it was in Invented or not, or maybe we don't give a fuck. Was the lazy ass name? Uh, no, it's toasters a re- legit name. Yeah, but I mean, what we gonna call it? I don't know, bro. It was just like, what does it do? It toast. Toastery. Nigga? Uh, maybe toast is the, the lazy point. name. Do we then. give a fuck? Because it's bread, <laughs> and then they just changed it to I, just toast. All right, okay. I just, I'm bigging up my city, bro. You you, you hating right now? Because okay, oh, you're not from here, right? You're not from here. Uh, no, nah, it don't even matter. I'm here, so <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> You from Sixty Third? You, you know what you wanted. You wanted them. You wanted them. I'm from Chicago. It don't matter where you are from. Is where you at? So I'm up here. So all right, we'll wrap it then. Chicago. Yeah. Where you from? Chicago. Hey, I'm in Minnesota all day to the end. So you know I'm here. All right. Anyways, it's our <laughs> second official episode. Um, I'm liking what we got going so far, and I will be real. Had a lot of people uh, hit me up. I'm, I don't, I talked to Taurus about it. I ain't talked to you about it, but. Has anybody else been hitting you up talking about, damn, can I get on the pod? Can you get a special guest spot? Nah, not really. Uh, jokingly, not like seriously. Oh, they're serious. They might have been serious. Nah, I mean, like, serious. like, my cousin Austin's one of them. He's serious. He's, yeah. What's he gonna I mean, he might, he probably think it'd be cool to be He's gonna get in here and talk about how he's before, good at games. That's, what else do you guys talk about? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's funny. Shout out to Austin. Nah, everybody's been hitting me up talking about like I need to get a spot. They coming. They 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 gunning for you, man. So they, that's that's fine. The pressure is on. That's fine. I, I told him. Pressure. I told him that I'm I'm like you, my guy. I'm sticking with you. Nothing's I changing. I appreciate you. I do. But we got we got people ready, sitting on the bench ready to get in the game. I don't even fuck though. <laughs> so other than that, um, let, him, yeah. let him come, bro. What do we I got everybody going you know, on, remember man? That. Let me see what we got going on. <laughs> I wanted to touch on a couple things. Have y'all... Damn, internet's fucking up on this laptop, bro. I don't know what's going on. Have y'all noticed them, uh... These new commercials now, bro? With, uh... Fucking... Were there movies? Like the Taco Bell ones? No. Taco Bell... Uh, but it ain't just Taco Bell because I, I had peeped that. But ta- Die Hard, uh, the battery, the car oh, battery. Oh, I did see that. Yep. And you could go to the website and it's got like a full twenty minute movie. But you know who's really oh, spazzing know. though? It's KFC. They got a whole fucking. Uh, they got two movies, bro. Going crazy and uh, y'all ain't seen that? Man, I miss. It sounds familiar. What's the dude going on with it? What's the dude that played that uh, Saved by the Bell? What's his name? Mario Lopez or something? Yeah, that's it. Mario Lopez. AC uh, Slater. He's the, he's the new uh, Colonel. You ain't see that? What is he doing? I missed all that Look shit. Look at him. Man. Nah, that's crazy. I haven't seen these at uh, so all. These are, what they make, like short films It's a shit? Lifetime movie, bro. I think it's on Lifetime it's on their crazy. website. Well, the game has changed, man. It's, it's like a fucking AFC fun boy over here. Original it, How long is it? It's a recipe for seduction. I think it's a 20-minute movie, bro. And it's just straight up comedy funny yeah. shit. Nah, is this some real shit though? Lifetime presents nigga an association. Yeah, so with- <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know here? It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was playing, bro. They, they actually, but the thing is, the reason why I brought this up is I actually think this is genius though. Like for some of the brands that are, and the corporations that have been around for a while, this is definitely something to like refresh. They got an anime commercial for KFC. Y'all ain't see that? Nah, I missed all this shit. KFC man. is going off right now, I just don't right give a fuck about bro. KFC enough it's to watch. I fuck with That's KFC, though. Don't you, what I, like, you, I like KFC. KFC was good in the 90s. Uh, That's y'all it. niggas one of them KFC stands. Oh, I'm a Popeye's oh, ass nigga. Man, come on. Whack. What are you, a fucking Popeye's like, nigga? I don't fuck with either one, but 
I'm gonna go with Popeyes over KFC. Wow. Let's be real. Come on. Nah, be first real. off, none of that shit is good. Okay. Okay. True. None of it. So I'm gonna go. I'm, but let's be. I'm gonna pick Def if I have to. But if I get, <laughs> if I want to live, I'm gonna go ahead and say Popeyes. But bro, fuck I feel like KFC. For me it depends though, cause like the spice. I take spicy Popeyes over spicy KFC. But if it's original, it's KFC. Every bro, it's tripping, bro. That KFC shit's trash, bro. Bo- <laughs> 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 That's that motherfucking gas station chicken, nigga. Bro, <laughs> what's this shit, uh, Mr. Clunk? Nah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's some gas station chicken that go fire, though. Hey, you know, gas station pizza on, go man. fire. KFC. Casey's, yeah. What? Casey's, Casey's. Is decent. Oh. It's, it's decent, not a gas station. But you got a cub. Cub chicken's fire. Cub chicken better than KFC. I ain't never had no well, cub. Yeah. That might be yeah, true. It's okay. the grocery oh, store. Right? It's the grocery store. Wait, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit here and talk like KFC. That's is. not good, by the way. We shouldn't have cub I better like than KFC. Better. So. We should though. That's from As the grocery store? store. Our grocery like, store should be prepared better for food. The food in the grocery store food be better than fucking KFC. It's not as processed. I don't know. I'm weird. Well, no, that's not. It's all the same. Let's be real. I mean, it's still. But there's levels to the nastiness. Right? <laughs> I'm taking nasty ass Popeyes over nasty ass KFC. Right, that's a that's dumb. Um, see that shit just sloppy to me. Like they don't give a fuck about what they how they making it. Yeah, it's just terrible. You niggas is wrong. I, I'm you already know it. I'm I'm on the gyros right now, but Trash. but it's actually been fucking with my Literally stomach. For, the gas the station onions, was too why. The onions, yeah. Been I ate three gyros. Uh, well, the meat. I, I mean, that's, like, that, like, that's like, that mysterious ass meat and shit. So you know, we don't even know. <laughs> no, what it it's, it's lamb, lamb and beef. <laughs> well, that's they said it was. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They told us it was lamb meat. Like, what the fuck is that meat? We don't know what that is, bro. It's lamb, bro. They Euros, meant, Euros go hard. If you they believe mean, it, do you hey, not believe in the, the, like, the, the health inspection? I don't know. No, I don't know what's going on. They keep telling us shit. We don't know. You just, I don't know. You do, so. We're supposed to take everybody's word for some shit so they what said? You, what you right, let's talk about it then. Mm. I don't know <laughs> what this fucking meat is. Nigga. I'm not eating that big ass. Nigga, that's a giant thing. Big ass, ugly, gray thing of meat. I know, I know how you. Yeah, feel, I don't man. fuck with that. Y'all niggas eating it. Like, let's see that. Let's not talk. Up, nigga used to work at Charlie's. And that was uh, come on. Uh, I was a child, nigga. Uh, you ever had it? I was a. I was a. I wouldn't work there well, today. I was, was a young kid. You nigga. was eating it too, nigga. Now we don't count when niggas was fifteen years old, my nigga. You were not fifteen, nigga. You had a full beard. <laughs> Charlie, <you're> 15, <laughs> I was fifteen, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no Charlie's. Uh, what do we got in music? Do we got anything in music? Mm. Lil Durk, new shit. Tell Anybody me. listen to it? I, I listen to the one with him and Pooh Shiesty. That shit's hard. hard right? That shit's oh, hard. I think I did hear that track. Bro, you played it to me, right? That's a different song. He got a new song with him. You talking about the blood, uh, Back in Blood. Yeah. He got another hey, song. Hey, Dirk's been doing a lot of fucking numbers lately. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you don't like him though, right? No, I'm cool with Dirk. I, but you, you just but haven't you, really tapped into. But him. you know, my position is that so Dirk is cool, but I get everything I need from Dirk from G Herbo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to hear it the way I don't. It's not really hitting me the way Dirk's presenting it. Are you saying it's because they both Chicago niggas that you was Chicago that, or, niggas? They doing different things. They talking know they both that, from Chicago. Talking that street shit, like coming from the street shit, but having some some maturity. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up and yeah. and, and getting getting right in the mind type shit, and then still having to kind of fend off the street life type shit. So I I, uh, I just I, think I Dirk got saying. a better voice. Or, yeah. yeah, no, and most people that, yeah, it's either you fuck with Dirk or you, you know, Dirk, but I'm on the G Herbo side because I appreciate that, that, uh, in your face, like I'm a spitter rapper type, you know, I like the, the, the hardcore, uh, I know about aspect spitter, of it. But... He's a spitter, bro. Well, Lil Dirk doing more yeah. melodic shit with his shit. Really, yeah. More than it's more melody. He's, yeah. So, like, your, your G Herbos is like kind of paved the way for like your Polo G's. Um, I don't know if it's a King Von, if we could put him in that. They I, both of them are actually like up on the little dirt. Actually, I, I know it might seem that way, but they rapping more like G Herbo. No, they not. You ain't listening. Are to they rapping King like Vine Lil Durk? A lot like Dirk, bro. All the melodies yes. and the bro. Both of them. who? Who does? They both King Vine. are like I just hear sons it. of Lil Durk. I, I'm, I don't agree. I mean, Go but that's fine. Listen. What I have listened to, I mean, yeah, Polo does a little bit of melody here and there and shit. But when he's get in his bag, he's rapping. Yeah, he can rap, and his rapping sounds more like. Herbo inspired. Go back and listen. That's all I say. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it for you because you like to, you back, know, sit, think you know everything about all this. I shit. know a few little things, but hey, 
Oh, yeah. Well, my See, nigga, I, who the I, fuck am I? Nigga? I watched the last episode, on, yeah. nigga. I watched it. <laughs> I don't know shit. Okay, uh, so Dirt came out. Go what? play that Kid Cudi shit all day, nigga. Mm. <laughs> but did you go, listen? Go to play it? that motherfucking um, Kid Cudi rock album that you thought was a dope. <laughs> Wizard, yeah, it was hard. It was hard. Can you name a song from it? No, because you didn't listen, listen to, to that damn no. shit album. Come on. Man. <laughs> You didn't. You didn't even know the name of the album, so oh, let's doodle, not talk about doodle. shit that we don't even know. It's dog shit, nigga. <laughs> the album is dog shit, fam. Let's not talk That's about shit. That's the first shit. time I ever called the album dog shit. Nigga, That's you, fucking dog shit. What do you like? What do you even like, nigga? You don't even, you can't, you can't even like, you're not a fan Damn. of anything. You don't have the no real taste. The Kid Cudi shit that's rock. That's not good. That's not good, bro. Bro, but you just said the other shit ain't good, and then you just said this shit ain't good. Now is the Kid Cudi rock album good? They don't I know. I ain't gonna listen to it. Why not? Because they don't know. Because you don't want to hear the fucking Kid Cudi rock album. Right? I'm not the biggest bro. fan, but if you don't want to hear this. I'm not gonna. Matt, be real. It. You don't want to hear no fucking rock album. Bro, I, are I we gonna talk about Cudi? Lil Wayne's rock album was better than that nigga shit. Lie and say it wasn't. I ain't fuck with that shit either. I, I don't like Wayne. Uh, niggas. Yeah, well, you don't. You're not a fan of anything real. So. I'm a fan of a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a fan of anything real, so that's fine. All right, okay. Uh, so dirt came out. What? There's nothing re- worth really talking about. A few about. little songs here and there. Nothing too much. It's a little dry right now. For, you know. Q1. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. But go ahead. No, I was just saying it's a little dry for music right now, so it's kind of been slow. Hey, that hops and shit is hard. I forgot these niggas love hops. I forgot to listen to this shit. Yeah, 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 these niggas what's up love with? hops, and he got into his uh, crybaby bag. It, 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 it's some shit he never spoke. Oh, by the way, that nigga's better than Eminem. Let's not be saying no dumb shit but like that. I'm gonna be bro. real with you, nigga. Stop, bro. That nigga's nah, better than. That's a real life Eminem. It's like the same. It's not the same. Type that's nigga, a real life Eminem's son. Yeah, you're right. It's his son, and he's it's like a poor man. He took like <laughs> they're poor man. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, but he, I didn't I wouldn't say, it. say he's. Yeah, worse nigga, that's cold. Poor he's, man's Eminem. He's he's not that's bad. a compliment. It's just he's, no fucking compliment. Any type, <laughs> any type of. It's just you can tell that he's a huge influence he on his music. He took the niggas. Any, any uh, type of comparison to Eminem, what Eminem he did is a compliment. Was, what's his name? Hoppin. Hopson. Okay, so the nigga wow. took. Wow. You know his name. You know his motherfucking name. All right, listen. How many Hobson tracks you heard? I heard a few over the years. Uh, I haven't listened to no complete projects, but I like some of the shit I heard. I've, a lot of the shit was the videos and shit. I, haven't I couldn't get past the niggas with these damn eyes and shit. I don't know. He no. doesn't do that as much, but I honestly, he was better. That was his gimmick to that. get in the game. Yeah, but the, see, uh, and that was the problem. Well, for me. I saw that shit, and I literally was like, I'm not listening to this nigga because he's doing all this Because the nigga had white shit. eyes? You ain't listen to I him? don't want to hear the music. That's just, so I didn't tap in all the way because of the shit he had with his Hobson, eyeballs. Hobson, Here go the video. It's Cause you're playing, nigga. The video is called. Hey, playing? Your high. He's telling you to look at me, <laughs> nigga. Hey, you think, <laughs> hey, you think this shit a joke, nigga? He ain't playing. Right, right. He ain't right. playing about his money. Okay, yeah, type shit. But <laughs> the nigga had those little eyes. I was like, this shit is a game to him. I don't know if I would want to listen too much. So uh, yeah, that's just how I felt when I first saw it. You know how the alter ego thing goes. That's his alter ego. That's like yeah, when he's, that's but I'm cool. See, Taurus is of the belief that real niggas don't have alter egos. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Are y'all niggas MF Doom fans? <laughs> I'm not a fan. But I like why not, nigga? But I respect it. I know he can spit. Okay. This is him right here. Basically talking about him being a kid and his dad used to beat on his mom and shit and he used to want to go to his friend's this house. This the new shit? Yeah. Yeah, this came out like last week, week and two, two weeks ago. I not seen y'all sitting. I just uh, forgot to check it out. He said some real shit in here. I, the one thing I felt, I felt the song was too long. Oh, come on, bro. I'm like that a lot. So now. you like the, you more like the two minute nigga song. Two, well, I two got minute like, and thirty seconds type. I, two minute I really, brother. I got the message. One verse in the hook. Was it? There was a rock song. There was a rock band back in the day that did that. They they started making songs that were way shorter than everybody else's because they felt like that's the way it was supposed to be. I'm kind of in that camp. I feel like if you get more than two verses in a song, it's too long. I got everything I needed out of this song in the first verse. Well, you know. I didn't need a second verse. I didn't need a continuation. I was like, I got it. Okay, got it. Didn't like your childhood because your parents were fighting. He said some real shit in that second verse. Like, don't put that energy onto your children because they're going to grow up to be that. Uh, Yeah, he got to preaching. He got to preaching. And that, I feel like he didn't need to. I I feel like he got everything accomplished in that first verse. Um, <clears throat> I like I like songs that got a couple of verses if they solid. The second but, verse was um, needed for the video though. I think. Yeah, this is this is just some deep shit, dog. Look yeah, at this. F- five minutes, bro. It's a five minute. Yeah, like, it's too long. Of a song. We don't need that. But Hobson came back. What last week? Dropped it. Mm-hmm. 
almost a 1.5. But you old school niggas, so you used to listen to those five, six minute songs. Yeah, so but I'm, really? I've also listened to everything you adapted all of the to years. Nigga, Kid Cudi yeah. got like six minute songs. Yeah, yeah. But, but the music is changing. <laughs> Throughout the song, that's, that's his all-time <laughs> favorite, so he can accept it from that nigga. So I mean, cool. basically, you're getting the classic uh, <coughs> two for one, two for that one. Type of shit. Travis like, Scott has made that popular verse. of late. <laughs> Throw a couple beats into his one song. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm well, Drake that. is the originator of the shit. So yeah, go I ahead. Don't like that? What? <laughs> that Let me not say originator, but he was the one who was doing the beat changes, and niggas took that and ran with it. So you said, if you said gonna, Drake. Yeah, Listen, bro. Drake ain't do, uh, create nothing. I think but the only time I've ever heard him do that was on a Travis Scott song. Earlier songs, he just brought the singing rap back. He was switching the beats up in the middle of the song to a whole nother beat. All right, I, I don't want to keep talking about Cuddy. Okay, <laughs> the nigga did do this shit. And niggas took from him. I'm so. not the only fan of, of Cuddy up in this bitch. It seems this nigga love. He brought him up three times now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I told you I like some of the niggas' music. It's not all great. You like the rock album. I like, so, hey. yeah, because I like all music. I'm not just stuck in one genre. I'm not stuck in one it shit. It ain't like, about being stuck. I'm not stuck in one it's shit. It's not like, a good rock like, album. Oh, niggas don't fuck with that shit. Nah, niggas, niggas wasn't rocking with that. That's that's not well, me. Whose impression was that? That was, that, don't make good that was music Taurus. That. Nigga, was that not Taurus? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what that was. But all I know is <laughs> that rock album he made wasn't good. So. All right. Well. All right. How did we feel about the Hobson track? I think we. I fuck with it. It's cool. It's I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go fuck with it. The video is interesting. Put that There's the a playlist. lot going on. There's a little deep shit going on here. I, I didn't expect this. And so that's I, the thing I've been talking about. Killing the vibes. And shit, yeah. been I think it's one of them tracks though. Like like for like uh, example, this is America by Childish Gambino. Yeah. I think it's one of those tracks where if you take the video away, the song ain't very good. But right. with the video, it's it's. Good. I think the song it's, is it's trash. It's not something you're gonna be riding. It's not good right. either. Yeah. I think this is America's you have, you have trash. To have right. the video. But people need this though. This is actually literally for kids. Ooh, for, excuse me. For, for the audience. kiddies. For the kiddies. Ah. Uh, this is this is something that's. <laughs> speak on it. This is something that's needed. <laughs> speak on it, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you gonna let me speak? Nigga, goddamn. This is something that's. Uh, Speak on it, bro. Real to kids. And I, I can relate to the song a little bit because I've had to witness some of this shit. And I do feel like kids being able to see that somebody else is dealing with this is dope. Because um, other niggas ain't talking about this shit in their music. Lil Durk ain't talking about this shit. Trey well, we don't, want, about we this don't shit. want this shit from Cuddy ain't talking about this shit. Okay. But what if he grew up experiencing this? Yeah, we, for the, we might stop listening to the nigga. Wow. Um... So we, we can't have real like life problems and Listen, talk about them in our um, music. That's kinda... just the reality of it. When you talk about the kids, they want to hear certain shit from the artists. They don't want to hear them do this other shit. Yeah, this is the type of shit so, you be on, though. Yeah, that's, that's true, why there's so many Democrat. fucking problems, okay? <laughs> if, you listen, if you listen to this shit Look, at I'm a just younger age you, and that shit was happening, like, wouldn't that... Like, listen, some kids it would say their life. Look here. The thing about it is this. Maybe I'm going too far, but... You'll I, have your artists that you will accept this type of music from I'm just telling you I'm not this is just how it's going you don't want to hear this type of shit from Pooh Shiesty in them okay Bro, Pooh Shiesty is a I'm just brand saying, new ass I'm just nigga. saying I wouldn't want to hear this wow. type of shit from 2 Chainz this nigga's name is Pooh bro come <laughs> it on is what now. it is but I'm saying I, is I think part of it's cause you their style and everything if they made a song like this it would probably be garbage this nigga be like yeah, they, can't. they don't have that, that they don't have that versatility they don't they don't it's not, they can only talk about street hood shit you know the funny thing about and, it and is maybe um, some bitches maybe <laughs> funny you brought that up Lil Dirt actually was on the fucking um, Nas album and got on there and, and was able to adapt what? to some Nas type shit which he did good he on did too. I'll give him that I'll give so him that, that was actually some cool shit he did. rare oh that's like rare <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just oh, came up with some man. quick shit but yeah I'm not hating on Dirk I, I fuck yeah. with Dirk I respect him I, I've liked him since the whole Chief Keith shit came out and he yeah. I, I thought he was a standout during that period I was For sure pretty, but yeah. uh but uh, yeah, I ain't mad at Dirk. I, I, we don't gotta go back and forth on that. Has anybody uh, anybody died? I don't man, Cicely Tyson, person. man, rest in peace, yeah, man. Cicely yeah, I heard. That's what I say. I heard somebody. And there's I, been a couple of other people too. Uh, yeah, every uh, week is it? These was older people too. Um, they're all older another people, one yeah, of them TV show. Shocking. I forgot the name. But some uh, uh, sportscaster for ESPN. Oh. Can't remember. What's his name? Seku. Some, Seku. I, I don't even remember. From COVID too, I think. Too, yeah, right? I think. It, yeah, I think they said it was COVID. Bro, yeah, they, yeah, of course it's gonna be COVID. Bro. They gonna say everything COVID now. Nigga can break I, his I fucking leg. I don't even want to be that pod where we like, oh, conspiracy theorists. Like, fuck wow. that. We can talk that shit too. 
<laughs> Look, rest in peace to everybody who died, man. Cicely <laughs> Tyson, man, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, she was for real. I like she that shit. Full life. Hey, Cicely Tyson, she's one of the GOATs, definitely. Nah, for sure. Did you watch any of her movies coming up? Mm. I can't name them. Mm. I'm be honest, I didn't watch a lot of those movies. Uh, was it, it was, look, it was one movie she had with Richard Pryor. I forgot what it's called. Um, that was tight. I used to have it on tape and shit back. In I know the, she's been around for um, sixty something ever. years. So she got a gang of Tyler Perry movies. Um, but yeah, who is that? No, nah, not Stuart Scott. Yeah, I don't know who who y'all talking about. He, he got a different Scott type of first name. He was Say like cool a, or something. Yeah, like Say, Say like, cool. Yeah. Was his name. All right. Well, rest in peace to him. Um, last thing I want to touch on musically. Um, did y'all all peep the Lil Bibby interview with Vlad? Yeah. Some of the parts. Yeah. I saw the majority of it, not all of it. I watched it before I got here. What? Uh, What's your takeaways, nigga? I only focused on a couple clips, um, I, and I reposted it. My big thing was he was spitting game that I feel like a lot of the young homies need to, to pick up on, and just, you know, talking about that whole being in the trance of being a rapper and part of that culture was keeping he was he what well, he keeping was saying up keeping up with the, and shit and, with the yeah. joneses you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. buying the clothes and buying the jewelry and buying the whips and he he actually i give big props to bibby because he actually admitted to was speaking on like to yeah. not only just speaking but he admitted to going broke you yeah know what i saying? saw that yeah and then more respect because he went broke and then and came right back up realized he had a problem and then came back up and yeah. then kind of got on a boss level so he's actually one of them chicago niggas that that you rarely hear from yeah like, and i didn't i didn't it, like, like him as a for rapper for something bad and shit I, I couldn't stand him as a rapper i hated his fucking it, the voice. earlier uh version of him and then it got seeing yeah. his face and his voice i'm like i can't do it <laughs> i'm like i'm like i can't i can't do it <laughs> can't do it <laughs> <laughs> fucking do it live off too. Was like, Man, I, I forgot his voice is like um, i know yeah <laughs> Yeah, but what I kind of voice y'all want the niggas to have? You want a nigga to have a if it's a high pitched like, voice, you don't nigga fuck look with like it. He's supposed it to have a soft ass voice. Yeah, yeah, let it match his face. He got to grow into his voice. He got to get some facial hair or something. That's funny. <laughs> Seriously. So you would have been able to accept it if it was more like on some Tweety Bird. When type I shit. first heard him, I thought he was like two fifty. I thought you know he was a West. Thought it was a big nigga. Yeah, before you seen it, two fifty, maybe some braids, something yeah. nappy going on. You know I mean, what I'm saying? It's like Torres. What if he didn't have facial hair and he had a fade? You know, your voice wouldn't. But it's not over the top, like overly exaggerated. Bibby's voice is right. like his times maybe ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Is. But you know. So no, but I respect the interview. I, I like I said, I, I thought people canceled Vlad, but I guess he's still out here making it happen somehow, some way. Um, what y'all pick up from the interview? Well, he still, uh, how many, I think he had like maybe three or four clips. It's, it's, you know, every day he had a new clip out, but. Oh, dropping it. He ain't even yeah, dropped the whole interview dropping, yet, right? Nah, he don't do oh, it like okay. that. He dropped it five he minutes like here, five minutes a there. A week after he um, dropped the whole shit. He talked a little bit about Juice World, about how he, you know, discovered him. Signed him Got him signed. And, um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. He was telling, he was talking about, you seen when he was talking about how he came up in real estate and that's yeah. his new thing now see so. the thing that i really appreciate is like <clears throat> that's where my mind is now anyways you know right. what i'm saying like i understand some of the, i can really resonate and, mm -hmm. and, and he did it at a younger age yeah. you know what i'm saying so like i could really it resonates i can relate to like him like oh looking for real estates all oh, going to sleep are you making yeah. money when you're going to sleep like that's all shit you don't really comprehend until you really start digging into real estate so it's good for young kids to hear that. It's other ways to make money. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like he should have been start talking this type of shit though. He just like spread spread like the the yeah, message. They and don't shit. give them the platform to do that. You, you know create I mean? your own platform. Once niggas start getting smart, bro, they'd be like, ah, who's the next nigga? Oh, Juice World. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, right? You know? Yeah. So you know, Let's get Juice that's World in here. Go. Baby, you and rarely does niggas even want to give out any of the game anyway. They just, they, right. you know how that shit goes. So, yeah. Which I understand. Did you peep him at? Yeah, I did. Yep. I saw, I saw 65, 70% of it. I didn't get to finish it, but. What you, uh, what you, what you, what you get? What you take from uh, it? I'm the one part that I, uh, it's funny because we were just talking about it. The one part, uh, that we were, uh, that, like, caught my eye or caught my ear, I guess, was when he was talking about how, uh, the new dudes in the in the game don't write none of that music. They just go in and just rattle off a bar or two, and then they'll 
cut it up and then do another one. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the, I feel like that's a lot of why you don't get that Hobson type of track with them because I don't feel like it's thought out. You know, there's no hidden meaning behind it. They just go and they just there's no substance. Even to when it. they was writing shit though, it wasn't thought out. They may not be capable of doing it, but listen, because a, a lot I of these like niggas are dumb. That's why. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's, hard take right there. That's yeah. a hard take. Right? Listen, niggas play dumb. <laughs> that's the that's the difference. Niggas well, play dumb. Niggas why? think being dumb why? is lame. That, or why? Why, are they dumb? why are they dumbing down their raps? They yeah, dumb no. the shit down. Why do they do it? Because no. you that's can, what's great. You you that's what sales, right? You, you don't, if okay. you actually put thought in your lyrics, motherfuckers are going to say, oh, this nigga, he a nerd But they play nigga. dumb. They, dumb and they, they, could, they could rap way better, but they dumb the shit down to a level that's like... But you can still be smart, though. You can still put some clever shit in there. Kendrick can do any fucking flow. He can do any of these niggas' flows that they doing. I bet you he... Kick some game in the flow. Uh, I bet yeah, you're you. probably right about that. I'm absolutely but right. It's a gang of niggas that's just that's dumbing why, down and to And that's a point. why all these niggas don't last. And you got niggas like Kendrick that's going to be here maybe 15. He's going to be here for a lifetime. Yeah, he ain't going 15, to 12, You know what I'm saying? He's already. He's, one of, the, he's one of the rare breeds that can do it. A lot of niggas can't do what he does. So. Yeah. yeah. Cole, Jordan. Yeah. Eminem. And he's better than Eminem. But yeah, go ahead. What's, what's I low key forgot. What was we just talking about? We were talking about the Vlad interview. Okay, I was gonna say, how the fuck do we get there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just try to slide that in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, what I, heard, I heard that shot. Better than him. Fuck all he said. Look at you. He's been <laughs> late. By the way, this was like, ah, wow. <laughs> all right, so uh, Mons over here turning red and shit. Did y'all peep man. this shit? I would be. Did y'all peep this shit right here? Yeah, yeah I, yep. I, I watched the. Uh, yep. Did you watch the the whole interview? I watched a little bit of it. Okay, I, yeah. I just watched him kind of talking about Friday and shit. I didn't really. Did you see the nigga trying to be funny in the interview, and it wasn't working out for y'all? We, 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 <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Oh, that was hilarious. it was funny because he was trying to make jokes. That shit awkward. The nigga wasn't laughing at none of his jokes. He would just move on to the next question. Talking about Chris Tucker, bro. he <laughs> tried to do a couple of uh, impressions. Hey, bro, he can't yeah, do. We talk about Chris. You, you gotta watch already. this shit. I didn't see it for y'all. Yeah, we talk about Chris Tucker. He did a uh, interview with uh, Shannon Sharp. Uh, one of the things that caught my attention was he uh, was talking about how he only made ten grand for the role on Friday and how he's happy that uh, he just moved on, you know, and he he felt like he made the right decision from too. the role of Smokey. If I made ten million dollars in that movie. Right. Yeah. He, he he got he he did it smart though. If you think about it, he really did do it smart. He took his opportunity and came up from that. And I like what he said. He's like me. I'm trying to move on to the next thing and the next thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I I definitely. Uh, could relate to that like way of thinking like trying to do one thing next step level next, you know to the to a higher degree so you know obviously we all want he kept it real too and he kept saying like about why, why he didn't do another Friday mm -hmm. he kept saying like oh cause I wanted to do the next thing do the next thing but you did three rush hours though but right. they was paying the was motherfucker the big money so it was like yeah. it's gotta be something I think else it was though 20. He, no he, he said it he <laughs> said the other thing he said that he wouldn't go back to it now because he's he's grown and he wouldn't be the same. He'd, he'd be doing uh, he wouldn't be the disservice, same you've seen. disservice to yeah. his no, fans. But, but they could obviously write the character to his likings. He could he could write like, oh, Smokey went to rehab, you know, like type shit. You know? He brought up a good point, though. It's like he would do it and we wouldn't even like the shit. He basically admitted that y'all, what That's I'm true. on now, y'all don't want to see this shit. You want to see Smokey. He can't give you smoke. He, he basically said it. So I feel that's like true. he's a naturally he's just, funny ass nigga though. Like, even, even, if they cool. wrote, even if they wrote it like you said that way, you know how much hate he would get from that. No, from I think they would smoky. appreciate his appearance alone. Just I think, regardless. I just think his appearance, even if it was short, even if it was a cameo. It's like a cameo. You know a what I mean? Cameo, I could see. Yeah, like a house party. Like, but they looking for funny. that smoky. They don't want to see this other shit. Though. Let's I be think real. Can, right? I think you can do a cameo. I think if he had two or three scenes, the people would, it would at least be something. It would be enough. I think anything. Any scene in that would be satisfying to everybody. It like, would. damn, he's finally in another yeah. fight. To be honest, if they would use it in the trailer, you know that would be smack That would be the first fucking scene in the trailer. Scene. In the movie. <laughs> in the trailer. Yeah, it just, it, after seeing this interview, I probably, I don't even want to see him in the movie. Me personally, but I get Right, just because where he's at? Yeah, I just don't think we should even do it. It's just like, you don't, force because him. he can't, he doesn't want to like do how they would want it to be done. He wants to say, well, if y'all going to do it, it has to be what I say. Right. You can, he's got some shit going on and I don't know why he don't like that's people don't want to see another motherfucking rush hour even though I'm going to go see it if it comes yeah. out because I guess they talking yeah, about a rush making, hour four is coming out. I heard. Yeah. 
how they playing though, so I don't know. So I, I'm gonna go see it, but I'm just saying, like, I would much rather see him in Friday. But I think it's something going on between him and Q. We can, I feel like we should just let go of that. I'm not sure what's going on, but to be honest with you, do we need it? Do we even want to see him in any more movies? Like, do you want to see him in a brand new movie? <laughs> Or no, I'm just for real. Like, problem with Chris I, ain't, I ain't got yeah. You know he was actually just in. Oh, you know what movie he popped up in that I didn't even recognize. I know what's what, what's the shit called. Silver Linings. With De Niro in them. With De Niro and old boy, and, what is it? Cooper, Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. It was kind of funny in there. It was, a little uh, it was cool. It was a, I was it was a super small role. So he I could he could easily do something like that for fucking Last Friday, easily. The, and his character was written funny. He wasn't even funny. It was his his character was just written yeah, funny. Yeah, it was written funny. So, um, yeah, I don't know. He doesn't. He has a very small uh, filmography. Like how many movies he got? I think he has a, a, a quite a few. I mean, not more than like he, he what, got ten movies. Dead president. So he got no, no, no. Dead president. He said it in there. What was his first movie? Jackie Brown. He, Friday was his first Friday. movie. Friday. Then he did Money Talks or yeah, Dead Presidents. Presidents. Money Fifth talks. Fifth element. Fifth element. And money talks. Uh, and then the fucking three. Uh, then he did rush, rush hours. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Which barely crown cause, don't count because that was like a. That shit was funny as fuck. It right? was funny, but it was just a oh. small role. He might actually have a damage. pretty, pretty short discography. Yeah. Which is you know, crazy. that's what I'm saying when you think about it. I don't think uh, niggas want to see another Friday anyway. I, bro, we can always use another Friday. I mean, the, I mean they're getting worse and worse as they go. But yeah, if it was if it was the same as uh, no, that like, last one was funny. The last one was funny as fuck. Come on, now. that's the funniest one. Was, yeah. I mean, they tried to they tried to bounce mm-hmm. back. You know what I'm saying? But that middle one was alright. But that last one was. Too I mean, bad. Every, everybody. I feel like the second one definitely had more uh, <laughs> memorable. Like second one was fucking one, trash, bro. one liner scene. Oh my god, Pinky, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Kidding me? That was the funniest part of the movie. Or and yeah. and then no 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 Baby D you know uh, Come Baby Joker Mike Mike Epps that whole Baby Joker shit was trash. Not Baby Joker Baby D. Oh yeah, I forgot about he, Baby D with the just, cookies and shit. He yeah, just yeah. made a little video. They just did like a little. Video. Oh, they did like yeah. in the same girl too. Yeah, like they did like a little Mike Epps in the future. Mike Epps and oh, Baby D like on YouTube. That. But I, I want to check and see how many movies. I Chris probably don't want to see another Friday without Debo and Pops on there. Without Debo and Pop, uh, yeah. Pop well, we Friday's, don't need them. No, oh, they both died. Yeah, oh, bro. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, with Debo wasn't even in the last one. He was in Pops both. Was he was in the in first two. We ain't even really. Yeah, bro. He's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, he was in House Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those is like cameos. We don't even count those. That's Meteor Man? Well, he must have been a kid. He was a kid in that. I didn't see that nigga. I didn't Meteor even Man. see that shit. Bro, Meteor Man. Did you see Meteor I Man? I seen the movie. I don't remember seeing him in the movie. Meteor Boy, Man was, was my shit. Fucking classic, by the way. First superhero. Black, black, black superhero. I, I, did you have the toy, though? I had the toy. I didn't have the toy. No, I didn't have the toy. toy. I had the toy. They had a toy. Well, yeah. Um, but let's see here. Yeah, so he only had of which he starred and had like feature roles. He only had one. What is this? What does this say right here? Panther. What does this I shit don't know say? What that is? Panther. That's a movie. He's in Panther. Black Panther shit. Yeah, I don't know what you this. You see that motherfucker? What's oh, up? I actually did see this. I what saw year? this on YouTube. What year is that say? Oh, I I seen it. It was on YouTube. Is that the same movie though? Yeah, I think it That's is. Crazy. It I think he there. is in there. Yep. So. I mean, he made he made good money doing you know we're having such a short catalog, so I'm sure he's not complaining. Yeah, he don't need to do any more movies if he don't want to. <laughs> what was we just talking? I wanted to hit. We we was at a point I just missed it. What was y'all saying before that? Before we got into his discography or for his his filmography. Friday. You talking uh, about the interview he just did? I, I don't know. Fuck it. But the interview was cool. Um, Pops only made five thousand from Friday, so. And by the way, he claimed that everybody made for five thousand too. And if Vlad, because he, he did an interview with Vlad, too. yeah, Chris Tucker, like I made only ten thousand. Pop, <laughs> Pop's probably rolling in his grave. You saw that interview. He was like, he was like, they're gonna tell you that they made more than five thousand, but ain't anybody made more than five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said on the interview. I was like, okay, uh, I I believe that nigga too, man. He said he made two hundred and fifty k from the second one. Hey, so so check this out though. But did y'all know this though? I just found out. Martin Lawrence turned down the role for Pookie. I can't picture Martin playing Pookie. In New Jack Pookie. City? I can't see That's it. That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't hear about it. I feel like it would be more funny than what like... You, is that an interview or what, they, what you see there? 
Uh, no, I, it's a it's a real right. thing. Uh, I did see it in an article though. Definitely, I be kind of catching these articles as they pop up. There was like the reason why Martin Lawrence turned down Pookie, but uh, it was supposed to go to Martin first, and then uh, yeah, he, he turned did. it down. I actually didn't read why he turned it down, he but had, I don't uh, think he would have been right. Uh, comedy hype, I be seeing it on YouTube, his, uh, channel, agent, whatever. Yeah. But like the guy who like got him into movies and stuff died so he was mm. like, that was raising or something basically yeah. that's why he didn't do it okay cause I was gonna say he uh I think they said he even read for the part and he killed it yeah he did and they said uh Chris Rock was terrible in his interview or in his uh but to be real Chris Rock makes it's funny cause Chris Rock wasn't being funny in that movie yeah exactly. but he was still a Cause funny he, ass cause cracker. he's a funny looking ass nigga that's why cause he, he was is. skinny as fuck he was like did you see when he hit that he, was, he hit that right he was like <laughs> he had to get his hands up in that bitch. That shit was real. That's what they said. They said Chris Rock played that shit. I feel like he, uh, I feel like Martin went in for the part. I feel like Martin uh, was trying to make the role funny, but he but he killed it when he got. Him. Anyway, I'm glad he didn't do the shit. How would have Martin made it? How would he? But how would Martin have done that? I, I can't. Had to have been a completely different character. He hasn't almost. done. Has he done any? Has Martin done anything serious? Okay, thin line between love and hate. But he still was. He's Martin. He was still being yeah. comedic in that movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say uh, like, few lines dramatic. He doesn't really have like he had a few, he has he a few parts in Bad Boy. Life a yeah, little bit. Bad Boys is still life a little was, bit. It was yeah, still life. Funny yeah. Bit, yeah, yeah, life. That's his most serious role. But he was still funny. Not, not he, really. It was still. I mean, it was more of a his, dramatic part his, to him. His, to his character role. was written. Yeah. Like, you could, you could, Ray, t- come on, Ray. You could tell he could act when they got, got a little old, act. bro. He was funny as hell. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, he was hilarious. But between that, uh, you could tell he has a little acting gene in him. Like I said, I burnt my mouth. <laughs> it was hot. All That's right. a classic, man. So we about to get f- into some <laughs> some juicy shit here, but I, I kind of wanted to before we really uh, tuck off here. I kind of wanted to. Uh, touch this um y'all see about this uh ti and tiny yeah it's not good what's going on somebody said ti better up his vocabulary if you want to get out of this bro did you see some of them <laughs> did you see some of them statement releases though i was like ti wrote this shit ti wrote these release these press release statements uh, they was man. talking about we're appalled and the, the, yeah. that was he sounded like Stephen A. Smith and that to st- <laughs> <laughs> bring out the whole dictionary for did. that shit. Let's read the statement, bro. I gotta actually read this shit. Cause the, the nigga came out and made a video, and he was like, I've seen a little bit of the video, he was, yeah. and he got to talking a little bit spicy. But let's read this <laughs> this <laughs> statement. I gotta see this shit. And y'all tell me if this is written by them or not. <laughs> Sis, no, nah, this is is this tiny right here. I don't even know who that is. I think that's a family friend. Or Here you go. Mr. and Miss Harris want to be on the record and more importantly want the public to know they emphatically deny. That's definitely him. In the strongest from that way word. possible, <laughs> the egregiously appalling <laughs> allegations <laughs> being made against them by Sabrina Peterson. The Harrises have had difficulty with this woman for well over a decade. They are taking this matter very serious. These allegations don't end. They will take the appropriate legal what action. Is that? Is that is, was that? Was that a statement made verbally, or was that written down? I think they're like lawyers or their team or something released they got, that. They got, they got uh, fucking. Um, it was just the Harris is. It, that's not even how you're supposed to do that. The Harris. <laughs> 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 that's, that's why it was looking. It, 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 it looking a little suspect. I don't know who did it. I don't even know if y'all think they did it. They, what I want to know is. I don't think it's a lawyer if they're making. So basically, like they it's, they had this girl that they was both fucking on for some years. I think they said over a decade, and uh, that's funny. She been going around talking shit like they was abusing her and all kind of wild I shit. They have other people that came out too though after that. All of a sudden. I don't right. I, I, I didn't oh, even peep that. I, I never believe any of that stuff. What I want to know is why is the Illuminati fucking with T.I. now? <laughs> <laughs> T.I.'s ready, though. He sound like... I listened to his video. He sound like he fucking... What's his name? What's the... Uh, Johnny Cochran up in this motherfucker. Like, he... He ready to go. <laughs> He's he, going to defend himself. And then he got to throw his little hood... His, you know, his little... I ATL like when T.I. Yeah, got that, that nigga's no shit when he's talking shit. That shit like, bye, bye. I, I, I got to... That shit you know, sounds believable um, after that. I don't know what's going on with this situation, but um, we can't be taking no sides of what's going on. It here. sounds to me 
Um, like uh, man, T, I ain't raping those bitches, man. I don't believe it, but to me, it sounds like a third, the third wheel ain't getting no love no more. She ain't getting no shit. money. It almost sounds like that. They that might have been the closest one that was with him. You know what I mean? And she like uh, y'all ain't. T.I. might have slipped up You never know Somebody might have slipped up They might have got a little too wild or something <laughs> They were talking about both of them And she called him like Hey Like y'all uh, Look at T.I. Um, he look, he look rough right I now just doing, I was just thinking that Hey man he been through it man Look at Particular Mm. Ooh, see, Johnny Cochran. This thing could be his own lawyer. I just said he's probably gonna be watching him defend himself. It sounds like he's speaking to the jury. Mm -hmm. He know what he's doing. I know that. That's what. That's the vibe I got. Like, oh, he's ready. He, he, he. They about to shut this shit down. Like, <laughs> they, they release statements emphatically and egregiously. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not. Man, it's just too many allegations going on with different people, and it's. I mean, it's, it's all bad. Like, you know. So, why are we on the abuse t uh, topic, y'all? Peep C Seahawks. Uh, they let go. Of what? What's the name? Chad Wheeler. Yeah. Bitch ass. Man. Yeah. Do y'all believe that story? The story he beat up his girl and tried to kill her because she wouldn't bow to him. She, it's a white it's offensive, a crazy is it story. An offensive line player. That sounds like some yeah. CTE shit. It's a white offensive lineman with a black girlfriend. Right. Yeah, it seems it's weird. I nigga got hit in his head too many times. Started acting crazy. It was weird. Yeah, the the quote that she said that he said whatever. I mean, he hasn't come out and said anything yet, has he? He, he, himself. he, didn't 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 say anything. Anything. he was in jail, I think, for the brunt of it. And he got he ended up getting out on bail over the it was weekend. Like when she something. walked out to the bathroom or something like that and he looked up and said, Oh, you're still alive kind of thing. Right. I don't like how this shit's not being put on ESPN though. But the thing is is it's actually being heard though. Yeah, but but it's not being put on ESPN. I seen uh Nate Burleson, did you did you see Nate Burleson? He got a little show on uh No, I didn't see that. He got a show sports, somewhere. Sports. I think it's Sports Illustrated maybe. He got a show, it's either online or on TV on one of these networks. They got to the whole end of the show and they was talking about some trade or something. He's like, yeah, and then I hate to do a hard pivot on you guys. It's out of the blue. Uh, but as a former Seattle Seahawk, we got to talk about this Chad Wheeler uh, fucking physical abuse on his girlfriend and... Uh, nobody's talking about it, and I feel like as a Seattle Seahawk, uh, former Seahawk, they need to do what's right, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the other two, he was like, I'm sorry to put that on you. The other two dudes didn't say nothing. And the girl was like, no, I'm happy. Thank you, my reporter brother. <laughs> she, she said that. She, she said, oh, no, she said worker brother. She, she said, she said I, worker, she's, like, I, she she's like, I appreciate that, my worker brother. She yeah, like, yeah. That's but I don't she wasn't coming racist but you could tell she was like no as a woman I actually do that's some bullshit though yeah. this shit should be all over ESPN it should I'm trying up. to think back it's funny. to when it's stuff like you know. happened before did ESPN put it on then like but let's not say that like white men white dudes haven't been called out though for any dumb shit on ESPN from the NFL remember Richie Incognito yeah yeah fucking Got he got banned? No, they brought him back uh, eventually. Who was but the other guy too? The, that receiver for the Eagles too. Oh yeah, no, no, no. What was his name? I forgot. He said the Cooper N word. Or something Cooper. I don't know what his first name is. Was it Riley Cooper? Yeah. Yep. Yep. He what said, was his situation? I think he said nigga at a game or something. It was no. I was at a country music <laughs> concert. Why did he say nigga at a country <laughs> music <laughs> festival? Uh, did he say nigga or what said the nigga? Was. <laughs> I think he said I would fight any oh, in here. Oh yeah, 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 what, yeah, yeah. What nigga is in a country music festival? But that's why he said no, he's probably, he's white. There's nobody there. Was he? Did he just say it? But you could tell he's he, he's around so many niggas. I think Deshaun Jackson was on the team at that time, so you know the the yeah. locker room was like turned up. Yeah. You know, what I mean, everybody was niggas it just in there. Slipped out, man. Who was hey, who was that white lady they That's got rid funny of? As hell. When she, who was the white lady on the cooking shit they got rid of her because she said nigga like it wasn't back Martha in the day. Uh, it wasn't. The, what the fuck? Uh, Paula Dean. Yep. They okay. got her up out she of here. Said nigga on air. No, no. She no, said it back air. in the no, day. She didn't. I she think like, she said something about the help or some shit. I thought she said. From what I remember of She's, it was. No, she said the N word. I don't know what 
the context was or what the uh, quote was. Any white person over the age of 35 has said the N-word, bro. Yeah, it was, was a situation where she she fucked herself now. by telling some information she didn't need to <laughs> I'm tell. I'm gonna be real, and Matt, you gotta you gotta just tell me if I'm right or not. But mm-hmm. every white person has said the N word, whether it be in private or in their head. I, there's yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and respect yeah, them we're not gonna for play being stupid. real. It's no. respect them for yeah. being real. Like this, this is what we do here. Yeah. Um, all right, off the abuse tip. Well, one more thing I wanted. Well, two more things. Y'all see they uh, figured out how to get through them red silhouette challenges on TikTok. I seen the video. Some they shit got they, they got to edit in them and yeah. shit. Is that real or what? Yeah, like showed us. Oh, of course they're gonna figure it out. Somebody that's a light specialist and editing specialist got to figure it out. I'm sure it's not hard out. to do. Yeah, them if you hoes know is getting stuff. exposed. It's just another reason for these hoes to be out here. Is TikTok? I'm starting to feel like it's for the hoes. Is it for the hoes? Man, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot there was a meme there. that said um, this guy said twerk for me. And she was like, no. Then he oh. had his camera up. <laughs> Did y'all see I that? Did. I didn't see that shit, man. I saw the headline. I didn't Did y'all see? Oh, my God. We got to watch this, bro. Holy shit. Uh, it was on World Star. Wasn't it like an eight-year-old or something like that, too? Or a ten, something, something young, right? Oh, he made the little kid start twerking. Yeah, and y'all just shit. be seeing all the TikTok know. videos and shit. I don't know. Maybe it's a different one. Than the, like, the headline I read was... <laughs> Father, or somebody. Bro, I don't this know, was savage, bro. This was savage. It's a for him, and then he made the so start so kid. everybody out there. Just so y'all know, there was a video that went up. This dad beat the shit out yeah, of this yeah. kid. This uh, nine, beat though. this dude up because. He caught him asking his nine-year-old daughter to twerk. That's what it was. Yeah. And at the end of the video, he's beating his ass. And at the end of the video, he's like, "Take, take all this shit off." He made him take his clothes <laughs> off, and he was like, "Now twerk, nigga, twerk." <laughs> then, that was real. And he's like, "I'm not playing twerk." And then, and the nigga, they they played uh, they played that ain't in, the, cool, in man. the background, bro. They played bands and make her dance. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, bro. And he, bro, the twerk this nigga did, bro. Oh my god. You were mesmerized, huh? No, bro. I, I actually could. You said you could do better? I was cool with the video until I started to realize, like, okay, he's actually going to make this nigga twerk. So did he do this to his daughter? Was it his son or his daughter? This dude, I don't know. And I, oh, I, was an older dude? I don't oh, know. Or what is it somebody else did? Yeah, I, I, that's what I, I didn't watch the video, so I don't know how old this dude was. That the dude, they say he's a teenager, you know? He okay. looks to be of, you know what I'm saying, like some kind of teenage age. But the shit was hilarious. It's got to be up in the top 10. Yeah, I missed this one somehow. I don't know. I, know I sent it to y'all. Yeah, I, I did, yeah. I, I mean, this was probably the. It was, it was like hilarious satisfying and savage and like cringy all at the same <laughs> yeah, yeah all the ingredients and shit <laughs> everything you need in one video huh? bro it's kind we of gotta weird. watch this shit I have to find this shit it's there it goes wow watch this shit bro. let's actually put that on full view <laughs> <laughs> this has gotta be the east coast too hell yeah <laughs> I feel like he's not doing it enough though. Are we? No, are we he's, sure? he's he's kicking him and hitting him, bro. Are we sure this is real? This is real, bro. How do you? How did he get into his house? And then who's I, like his parents are just? He must there have knew this him? kid. He must. These, this must be somebody that they, you know what I'm saying. That was but a little the dude, close. I mean, the dude's parents are just sitting there like videotaping. Yeah, my son getting his ass whooped. <laughs> I don't know who's right. It's probably his I, family. It's probably. Nothing? It's probably a family friend or something. Just, uh. Watch this shit. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's definitely East Coast. He got on them Timberlands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not gonna be twerking for no nigga. I don't give a fuck uh, what that's I. That's his daughter right there. You can just beat my ass. This is his daughter right here. <laughs> right. <laughs> he making his him apologize. Sounds like a little ass boy. Uh. 
<laughs> she said, it's okay. <laughs> he's, he's trying to pull his drawers. <laughs> watch, watch this, bro. This shit gets... Go wait for the grand finale. He threw, he threw on the homo slurs, homosexual slurs. Uh, oh, damn. Watch. Listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. This ain't cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey man, you might have to go uh, oh, kill yourself after oh, some shit like this. Bro, what, the, the, yeah. what? What do we call that? What twerk move is that? Cause they do that. Is that I the, don't know. Is that, that the little like some lazy, standing, half-hearted twerk? Standing crawling shit. Man, oh my god. That wasn't cool by any means. I hate to see that happen to that young man. That's nuts, bro. <laughs> what? That's a perfect way. Why to... you didn't get up out of there, man? Come on, you could have ran up out of there, right. man. Come on. Like That's I some said, shit you'll never recover like from. I said, beat my ass, bro. bro we, I'm getting up out of here. I'm not doing nothing. Uh, shit. Would you have not done the same thing? Somebody tried to do that to your daughter? I would not have made him. Twerk. I'm not doing that, no. <laughs> You're not gonna make him twerk. Yeah, I'm not trying to see a naked man twerk. I don't know what work. my reaction would be, but. It's not, I'm not doing all, all that shit. shit. Yeah, you can tell nigga been in jail a few But that's probably how he felt. That's, that was the first thing that come to mind. He was like, this is what we finna do. But think about it. So. You know that kid ain't never gonna be up in there trying to, if he was messing with little girls. Would that be considered you child abuse? Him a good lesson. Actually, if that dude's a, a pedo, I mean, what, we's a teenager, so we don't really even know how old the kid is. He probably a big-ass 12-year-old, you know, who yeah. knows. But uh, if he is somebody that's like into littler kids and shit, he ain't gonna learn. They don't be learning their lessons. They eventually either get caught up in jail or die or some shit like that. Um, That'll make a nigga yeah. change. But that will make somebody <laughs> with some common sense be like, all right, I ain't gonna be too much asking no girls like up on here twerking and shit. For that, though. I don't know if that last part was really necessary for that. It was humiliating. <laughs> it was humiliating, but like. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, that so, nigga was. Now it's out there That nigga was dropping that shit, though. <laughs> in his mind. <laughs> Hey. In his mind, I wonder what he, he thinks. Cool. Like, he's like, all right, this is my go-to right here. Like, and then drop it. Bro. Like, well, he, he, yeah. he, he didn't have to do all that extra shit. He got up like he did that before. But it's almost like something's a little wrong with the dad, too. Like, That's okay, what I'm saying. We're going to get him naked here? Yeah, that, right. was, that was your first thought? Like, you don't have to get him and naked to make him twerk. You that, know what right? I'm saying? Like, did you, did you see the video where the mom made the kid, the little kid dance because he got up on a lunch table or the table and his desk in school and started doing all the little dance and the, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking that one was fake. And she made him dance. He was really crying. She's like, nah, do that shit. And he was doing a little, the whatever. I the, seen that, but I was just like, I be confused sometimes on what's real and what's fake. But that one looked kind of real, the one we just seen. It looked, that had to be it real. was real enough for me. The, yeah. They couldn't plan it at you. You're going to be twerking. Yeah. You're going to take your clothes off and shit. You're going to drop that shit a few times. She said, he I said, say if he, sorry. If he, if he is a minor, that can't be... That can't be right. Fake, he, he right. Gotta, he gotta would that be child? Ab- would that be child abuse to the to the dad though, for making him do that? It might be. Yeah, it yeah. might actually be sexual abuse. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's like yeah. Couple of charges. But but yeah. but the but niggas in the hood don't unless somebody get to digging and doing so. Yeah, the fact that it was that on shit, World that's Star just might be bad for him. Now, though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then you gonna get in trouble for that shit. Right. Yeah, that shit is on. So so for future heads up for anybody catching somebody uh trying to get at their daughter. If you want to beat their ass, okay, that's one. You still gonna catch a couple charges, but two, don't make them take their clothes off if they're gonna twerk. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, like, I thought I before you showed that, I thought he was gonna yeah, be like some respect for, for the young nigga. Make them do a dab. You know what I'm saying? Make them. You know what I'm saying? Beat them the fuck up. Stump them out. That's it. Keep he had Tim's. He had the. He did the Tim stomp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Throw him out like Jazzy Jeff type shit out the crib. Just yeah, out mate, of, mate, cool. yeah, yeah. Out his own crib. Yeah. All right, that's a perfect way uh, to all the fuck shit we done with all the fuck shit. We about to get in our bag now. We about to get into our movie review. We done did all our research. Got in the motherfucking uh, watching movies twice. Watching movies on the theater. Watching movies on the streaming service. We got The Little Things with Denzel. We got Run with... uh, I forget that bitch's name. And then we get... uh, (laughs) <laughs> Tax collector with Shia LaBeouf she and a couple of unknown people. Reason. Chill, chill. What? I don't, Anyways, I don't know why. You talking about the, the little girl yeah. in a wheelchair? No, the the ma. Oh, the, the, oh, she is kind of cute too. Yeah, she got a, like a weird kind of. I had a crush on her ever since. She's uh, not cute. I don't know what's American going on. Horror Story. Anyways, we about yeah, to get into up, this movie up. right now, so let's do it.
swag. Take the fucking shit off and let the braids be out with the motherfucker. Nah, because my my niece, she, she I let her get her practicing on these braids. I don't know if these braids is quite ready. <laughs> They cool, bro. They, don't, they, don't yeah, they, they, they actually are cool. Yeah, Shout out to her. Know. Shout out to Ella. They cool. This is not even going on the podcast. No, we shouting out nobody for no reason. I'm not in the You'll keep it anyway. None of this is going to be edited out. What's going on around here? Yeah, that's going to be edited out. 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 Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> you just can't what the door. Mm-hmm. fuck going on around here? You can say cocaine mercy. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be trying to tell you, a nigga come around me acting gangster, I ain't buying it. I'll be telling you, come fuck me. <laughs> 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 this nigga just had that one and just ready to go. Oh, no. This nigga's like, oh, when niggas come crazy, I'm gonna just do this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one too. Wow. All right, now we officially back. I had to do a quick swag check change. Velvet do rags on now. The hats forward. T shirt. T shirt okay. only. Um, before we touch on these movies, though. I know that's what they waiting on. I did want to talk about this uh, this Robin Hood whole AMC stock situation. Um, did y'all read up into it, to the, any of that? Crazy shit going bit. on. Crazy shit going on, you know. Who read up into it? Who who got into it? Like who can confidently I dove speak? I into it pretty deep. What you, what you get? Um Man, it's just it's just kind of like the little guys getting back at the big guys is, is kind of what happened. They just kind of banded together. So what I got out of the whole thing was... Wasn't it on Reddit or some shit? Yeah. Basically, and I just got to try to... And I fuck with Reddit. Tough, too. Reddit's not the Reddit. culprit. I mean, this this makes Reddit look dope. But, yeah. um, but so what I dug into it, and I'm not even a huge stocks guy. I've never been into stocks because I always felt like... My mindset was that people, the way people talk about it is like they're trying to do some like quick kind of come up, but it's yeah. really not that. Like right. f- somebody like me, I'm going to drop a thousand off into a stock and then I'll check on it in 20 years unless some shit gets to popping yeah. off where like this shit just happened. Mm-hmm. But um, so I, I've always been more on like, let's do some real estate, something physical, something that I can touch. <clears throat> but this one, basically, it looks like some billionaires got into... And I don't want to use these words incorrectly, but like hedge funding and these these big ass Wall Street niggas companies and these corporations got to trying to short is what they call it short short a company short sales short sale a stock where they they're basically betting on uh, they're betting on the company to fail yep. and basically if it fails then they they win and they get all this money right. But if it if the if the stock ends up going up, then they gotta pay that money back out. So it's almost like you lose. Like it's it's like a gambling almost. It's, no, it's one hundred percent gambling. I mean, and that's really what it is, you know. To be real, all the way. Um, but so what ended it's up? It's basically like they just not good. What what ended up happening was they they bet on these companies to lose. <clears throat> the motherfucking people on Reddit. Somebody got into seeing that they, they was coming at GameStop and they was coming at AMC and some of these companies. You can't fuck with niggas' video games. So somebody got a <laughs> hold of that shit and they're like, oh, they're betting on GameStop. Oh, they're betting on AMC. Everybody banded together and they just started buying stocks, buying, buying stocks from, you know, on, on these companies that they see and that they short selling on. Stocks raised up and now all these billionaire companies. Or these people that you know was betting on the on the loss of these companies, they put in a ton of money for it to lose. Yeah. Now they gotta pay back three hundred times of what they bet it because mm. the stock went up to I think what three hundred four. It was at fi- almost five hundred at one point. Wow. So and before that, it was at like five dollars. And they were doing it mostly through Robinhood, right? That yeah, was like the main ad. Was it all through Robinhood? 
I think no, it was, there's a few of them, but that that was the main. That was the, main, was like, like the biggest one. I read it said like eighty percent was on Robin Hood. Cash up, yeah. Eighty yeah. percent was on was on Robin Hood, yeah. and then uh, so basically what ended up happening was what what really got people upset was Robin Hood eventually cut off the ability to buy yeah. stocks from these companies, which is a, like they don't ever do that when it's on the opposite end, and so. You know, the little guys are like, nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, these big corporations is getting let off when they yeah. take the L's, you know? Exactly. But when we take the L's, something like this would never happen. And I thought it was crazy because they showed an interview, like, a long time ago, or during the pandemic when it was kind of right in the beginning stages. One of these uh, experts, billionaires, whatever, got on there talking about how hotel, the hotel industry is about to crash and burn. Yeah. And they found out same time he was getting on TV saying that, like making people want to sell their shares, he was buying billions of worth of shares in hotels. And then eventually people noticed, oh, hotels ain't go out. Hotels still going up. Yeah. And so he's, yeah, yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? So that's just how, on the on the basic level, how the shit's been operating. They, they're constantly manipulating the the line or whatever on the on the big side but when it happens on the little size they want to shut shit down and buy their stocks they really know. just changed all of the rules and it just was like we're gonna you know that, it's already kind of a dirty it's dirty it's, I mean, it's definitely dirty so they changed up the rules to an already dirty ass game i mean and ain't shit they can do about it i mean the, that's why people are upset but I've, I've listened to a bunch of dope interviews and it, it almost make me want to get into stocks that's funny i was going to download that shit yeah. like i definitely was thinking like of some i'm thinking about getting in on and i don't even want to put my shit out there but i'm we we still at them early stages where the people that's watching can get the gems from us right now you know <laughs> at the early ones but i'm thinking about investing into uh vpns you, you heard of vpns i know you should know what vpns yeah. are yeah. you I know what vpns are yeah. Like uh, I don't know what the breakdown is, but basically where you can mask your server and be it's, put your it's just make sure oh IP yeah address show protecting up your uh, privacy shit right yeah, yeah, what, yeah what is it man so your IP address your IP address on your computer will tell you your general location yeah. like geographical location if you use a VPN it changes your IP address to a different location right and so. I feel like companies like that like as more people get used to the internet we definitely went through a thing where now the internet. As much as we were on it before, we're on it even more than ever now. And now people are feeling like shit like this and wanting to, you know, not be tracked and be whatever. I feel like VPNs is about to go up if they ain't already up. Definitely going to need one of those. I don't know how much they'll go up because I feel like a lot of people use VPNs already. Like businesses especially, they use VPNs a lot. Yeah, but I think yeah. people, I think the common people. I don't know if it's very popular with with the common person though, like just the regular citizen. I guess it depends. I mean, you know, I game a lot, so the gaming community knows a lot about it. The game the people that are on oh, their you computer, game a lot? Yeah. yeah, people that are on their computers <laughs> all day. He was getting ready to talk some shit. I didn't even know. Definitely niggas on the dark web. Gonna people be that using are on VPNs, dark web computer, like that's not everyday blue class or blue collar right. working class people. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not in the mainstream yet. I don't feel like, and I feel like it's gonna be in the mainstream soon. Yeah, I think you should go ahead and invest, nigga. Just take your money and go invest. Stop talking about it. No, I'm, do it. I'm doing that. You, see, you hear me talking about it right Let's now. Let's get to we're, it. We're get doing the it. money and invest. Nigga, stop playing. You bullshit. You're talking about it. Where's the action? Get that fucking money up and invest that fucking money. Talk that shit. I'm not, oh, man. you know, I'm going to do it. And when you ask me for tips, nigga, I ain't going to give you nothing. Nah, I ain't going to need your tips. I'm going to have my own little shit. Go do your little yeah. stocks you want to go get into. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. what the fuck I do. I'm not a huge stock shit. person. I, I'm a real hey, estate man. person. We'll People that do stocks make it sound good. Cause they already got the well, it's niggas money. out here making money with this <laughs> shit. Let's be real. So you either it's either uh, a real long process or you get real lucky. Those are the two ways to come up in that. Yeah, and I'm like, let's do the long process because I don't get lucky. Even yeah. the long process, though, I mean, you can still fail. You, know, you'll st you can right. still come back twenty years later. That's why down. you only throw in what you can deal with, <clears throat> parting ways with. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I've gotten financial advice from some some players. You know what I mean? Like some some players that financial advisors and shit. I got a couple people in business networks that I talk to that be in, in my ear about what I should do with my money and shit. So I, I, I get to get a little bit of this game here. Um, and as I get it and, and I develop it and I fine tune it and I'm able to, I guess, uh, verbalize what I've become to uh, understand, I'll, I'll regurgitate that and give that out to y'all as I... Yeah, put niggas on game, man. Niggas be over here trying to tuck in the game. 
That's how she feel. Damn, man. Niggas don't want to let niggas know that, shit about that nothing. that shit. Talking <laughs> shit, dude. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I think that's wild. I think people definitely, I, it took me a minute because I'm not a stock person. You know, I'm not yeah. really looking for stocks. Never was. Probably was the same way. I can tell by that energy. But now that this has happened, it's actually really interesting. I'll send you some interviews. You should just peep it out a little bit because it's it, it makes everything kind of seem ground level. Like Yeah. So it, it, this is an eye opener. And I think. The good thing that's about to happen is more people are about to start diving in the stock world or diving in yeah. the markets, you know? I think it's really already happening. Like, since this shit happened, it's been a, a, a surge in, in, in stock. So, you know. And I don't know. that I think that should create carpet more like flow, but I think it'll create more competition. So Maybe who, all this shit was just a plot just to have niggas buy stocks. <laughs> and I thought of that, too. That's definitely. <laughs> I don't know, man, they, they, lost, funny. they lost some money. The yeah, people stuff, lost real money. So. Yeah, they lost some money. money. But they're going to come back. They yeah, bounce fuck back. Them. They, they lose your little money. Yeah. Cry about it. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I really got to say on it. I thought that was interesting and we should touch on it. Um, let's get into these movie reviews. All right. So the first movie we got on the docket here. Um, let's go with let's go with uh, Run. Let's go with Run. That was the uh, movie Taurus suggested. Eventually, we're going to start. I'm going to start taking requests from y'all out there. Uh to see what movies you want us to review. This one was a little earlier in the year. It was, uh, what, I think February or March of 2020? It actually just came out in November. Was it in November? It, it was supposed to come out in February. Yeah, at the, ah, and they ended up okay. putting it straight to Hulu just recently because they, they tried to hold out to see what was going to happen, and they was like, fuck it, put okay. it on Hulu. So it came out in November, yeah. Hulu original release. Um, stars Sarah Paulson, who I believe she was in a uh, what American Horror American Story. Horror. This is her lane too. She just do this she type was, of shit. She do a she thriller, shit. She was in that shit. Mr. Glass. Yeah, the, the, uh, the Glass with uh, OJ Sam Jackson. Jackson. She was in the what? That OJ Simpson trial. She's on another oh, she show on where it? she plays like she, a yeah, nurse. She, she plays like a or, nurse I know in this talking about. crazy home. I know what you're talking about. I dealing with like sexuality and stuff like that. I missed that one. Uh, that looks wild, but it's weird because who said that they that they feeling her? Who said that you feeling Moan, her? Right? Yeah. I, I don't it's know. Funny. She just it's something about her. And Moan I, feels ninety seven percent of the female population. <laughs> so. uh, um, the thing it is that I'm gonna agree with you here, Mo. And there's something that she can do pretty well. I'm interested to see here how old she is. Like, 40 something. Because she, her wife's like sixty three. She got shit. like an age range on her where I feel like. Hold up, she could play an old bitch and she can play damn near like a sexy. She can. She's a sexy th nurse. 30s, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here with the, with these comments, but uh, <laughs> if y'all like Hold this on. woman, I'm then in, that's cool. I'm in uh, oh my goodness. You feel what I'm saying? What's going you on here? You don't see nothing with her uh, that you like. Do you see it? Not a Hold nothing. On. Let me get him some photos. I mean, I'm talking about <laughs> Let me get him some photos. This is this is not good. What's going on with you? Uh, I'm just a weird ass nigga. I mean, man. is it you gross? Nah, but is it something I chase after? Nah. I mean that picture right there looked like first, a uh, first off, man, younger Miss Doubtfire or some shit. You to know me. damn well you lucky to get any kind of pussy you can get. So don't <laughs> That's even true. be sitting no, there you're right, one hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah, niggas is tripping about this here, but uh, it's cool. I man, look, know, give y'all a little time to. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead, pull that picture up right there. Yeah, uh, I mean this is just her real life outside okay, of. Okay, nigga, do we I see mean, any pictures we like here? I do. That's okay, what pictures do you like of this girl? The ones that make her look like a female. He's in, in interested. Do you most. see? Are, are, we saying uh, she, are we saying she looks like a man? No, no, I'm just saying if she looks like yes. a female, you're generally interested. I think she's cute right there. She's pretty as hell right there. She's cute right there. Come on now. She got like a weird kind of cuteness to her. It's she weird. Got, you know I what I'm like. saying? Like, look at that yeah, little one right there. You got the muscle. She got like the kind of weird that you like, oh, let me see what this bitch is about. She's a little interesting. She like she'll come in and get your back. I'm not up. feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling nothing <laughs> about it. I think it's the eyes. I think it's the eyes. The eyes kind of. I think I'm good, but y'all go ahead, man. <laughs> anyways, go crazy. Go crazy with it. Anyways, uh, Taurus suggested this movie. I would. Um, I thought it was. So it took me a little little bit for it to like garner my attention like while i was watching it i got to playing with my phone and shit then like right as we get into it smack dab i'm like okay we dealing with uh what's the what's the name of that show where they it was a real life story where the girl the mom kept making her daughter think she was sick and she was younger than she actually was that's the, um the gypsy 
on that's hoodoo, right? It, I gypsy. Don't, is it called the gypsy? It, it's a, it's the that's girl's a, name was gypsy. It's a true right? story. Yeah, yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. Anyways, this was basically like that, um, except for it was probably a little. She was a little more off the deep end. With a splash of like misery, I felt a little bit misery, misery vibe. Thriller, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But anyways, the girl. The movie misery. The main character kind of starts the peep game. She's a smart kid, but she's yeah. in a wheelchair. Um, she she's smart enough to you know be applying for colleges and and, and get accepted, but she keeps looking for the mail. And the mom, I noticed it right away. I'm like, all right, she hiding something. So I knew what we was getting into right away. Like, okay, mom's mom's probably making her think she's ill or something. Yeah. It made me think of that other show. And, uh, Eminem shit. And she was, uh, the daughter started to peep game. Like, hold up. She ain't letting me get my mail. I can't check my mail. What's going on here? Like, then she get to looking at these pills and start seeing what these pills ain't matching up. They got different prescriptions and shit. Get to find out she's being fed pills that are for dogs and muscle relaxers and all that shit. All type of crazy shit. I like this movie. It was good because, yeah, I seen it before, but it took another turn for with, like, suspense. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, all right, let's see this girl. Can she get up out of this situation? Okay, she's in a wheelchair. The mom's obviously crazy. And Sarah Paulson plays a crazy bitch pretty good. Like, she... She's the queen. I don't. I don't know if she's the queen. Of, maybe right now it's her. Modern day. It's her lane. She's in her zone. It's her lane right now. The crazy bitch because she can like be the crazy bitch, be kind of sexy with it, mm -hmm. and then but not be like oh it's blatant and it's clear to see that I'm crazy. It's like no, you got to find out that I'm crazy. You know what I mean? And, yeah, she uh, thorough with this uh, in this lane. I like the she did a killer job on this acting too. This she's show. she's like the the bitch that's crazy trying to be normal that's her character yeah you know what i mean trying to appear normal acting like she ain't she crazy sounds like She's every lifetime movie <laughs> <laughs> i've never seen shit on lifetime so i don't know i had to my stepmom and my mom that's all they fucking watch was lifetime crazy shit on like it was some crazy shit on lifetime but uh but yeah i thought the movie was dope you know she eventually gets to finding out that she been you know fed this bullshit and she trying to get out the situation she realized she can actually walk and she's being fed muscle relaxers she's doing all this shit without the ability to walk trying to escape the house gets out gets some help mom starts to reveal that she's a nut job now she's on a murder tear killing people to keep secrets that we wasn't necessarily prepared for and then we find out Find and out. it wasn't even her kid. Find she didn't stole it. Did but you the, see that we coming? We should have peeped it, though, because the movie starts out with her and obviously a very premature baby. Yeah, at the hospital. Baby, yeah. uh, they make it seem as if the baby lives. That was like their little way to try yeah. to put you on a cliffhanger. But the baby dies after two hours and 11 minutes, I think. But anyways, the daughter finds that out towards the end of the movie. Figures out, like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to kill myself. Ends up in the hospital kind of whatever whatever but the main dope thing was at the end of the movie the, she crazy too now because yeah. she going up in there and visiting her mom and giving her the same shit that happened to her so it's either revenge yeah. or she that's crazy that's not crazy that's just bitch I'm gonna um, fuck you up now I needed that for the, to complete this movie that, that, that completed dope. it for me because I really I was actually really irritated when I saw her going up there to visit I'm like damn after all she know she's up here visiting this woman. But do you think she tried to reach out to her parents, her real parents, who she found out that she was stolen from? That's what I was wondering. But I just really needed her to go ahead and poison her the way she was poisoned. Because I think, given the fact that she knew that this is not even her biological mother and she was doing all this shit, I think it was easier for her to be like, fuck you. You ain't shit. And I, put them drugs on her. And I feel like she actually embraced it. Like, okay, this is my mom. Yeah, she did. I feel like she was like, um, all right, this is my mom. Now I'm about to fuck you up. Mom, Love she you. had to man. She she did her so grimy. She fucked the whole life. I don't even know. She was was she walking again? Or she was she was just learning to walk. She was just learning to walk. I mean, she may not ever walk fully again. Like she no, she just gotta learn. I think well, she no, she said it in the movie. She said that the the doctor said that the physical therapist said that she it may not get better. Hold up, who said that? The main character. At what point in the movie? Towards the very end, when she was talking to her mom. In the hospital. Oh, oh yeah. Did yeah, she yeah, say that? Yeah. She did say that. Yeah. yeah. She it may not never be normal. She said the physical therapist said uh, walking. She said walking's getting a little better. The physical therapist said it may improve. It may not. Hmm. 
That was like one of the I first I feel like books. she had the ability to walk. The only thing that was stopping her was that she was on muscle relaxers. Yeah, but if you think relaxes. about how long she had gone without using those muscles, I mean, they deteriorated. Well, she saw a picture of herself running around at like, what? Six. It was her sixth birthday. Sixth birthday. You know, she had about she's, 10, 12 she's years 18, of fucking with them. Uh, so 12 years of muscle dog relaxers? Shit, yeah. I mean, you don't so, use your muscles for 12 years, bro. That's their, yeah, that's they're non-existent. Bad news. Um, they're non-existent. Your muscles deteriorate over time. You yeah. wouldn't be well, able to jump up if you haven't you're jumped in shits, 12 years. We yeah. might have to get a, a fucking doctor or a scientist on that and double, double check that because I feel like you can eventually learn to walk. Um, I, yeah, uh-huh. probably eventually, but... I feel like I it's because she was so young she when it started is right. a problem. She couldn't use them at all. She was just saying she didn't know if the, doc, the therapist said it may improve and it may not. The way that she was I going. think it's different if this shit would have started happening to you at this age right now. For 10 years, you would probably be still good. You would learn. But she was like a damn... Yeah, she was a six. So through all that seven, six, seven years old. Her body was actually growing. Her muscles were you know. used. I got a feeling. You didn't watch this movie, did you, Ramon? I didn't watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Ramon was over here trying to talk about it. Like, he sees some of this shit, This nigga was really trying to make it through. Like, he got... Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta, play, you gotta play that part. Right, you know so what I'm saying? We gotta be real as a show. He's exempt from rating it. Um... Only thing I'll let you weigh in is was she looking good on the movie or not? Did you see the trailer at least? I seen the trailer and I seen the the, the I seen a couple minutes of the movie. Hey man, uh and by I the know. way, this 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 disqualifies y'all niggas from telling me about who looks good and who don't look good because mm. this woman is not. I feel like good. my bad bitch this is way better than yours. Listen, let me tell you like this. This this is not a good looking this is this this is terrible. She's bro. pretty. What the fuck she's she talking pretty, about? Bro. She's pretty. Come on. She's a. If she saw her walking down, she she, she don't look good. Like, I'm good. I'm good on that, man. What? Like I don't think I would, honestly. Come on, nigga. She looked like the fucking Pennywise clown right there. Look at that. Go back up to that picture, nigga. You know what it is? She <laughs> look like Pennywise on that shit. She got like that horror sexiness. That's Pennywise right there. Nigga. Pretty, That's she you're, plays Pennywise you're on fucking Pennywise. it, nigga. Fuck that. Uh, With that big ass head. Shut up. It's Pennywise, okay? If you like those clown... Big ass heads. All right, no, but back hey, to the... you like clown looking bitches? Back to the story, Matt. Did you... Oh, you watched it. Hey, you whatever you... It. You know what I'm saying? Teach his own. You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta man, do. You feel me? So, so Matt, take us through your rating. How you feel about the movie? What you rating it? Honestly, I did not fuck with it. Ooh. That's a good take. What you hate about it? Uh, the, the first thing I hated about it was the first scene with the baby in the incubator whatever it was you hated uh, that you hated seeing the baby looking nope. like that and wasn't even that i hated that it was that when she when she asked that question and they didn't answer and she turned around i immediately i swear to god immediately went she's gonna steal some another baby oh so you i swear it. To god, i peeped it immediately and then it ended up being that it was just it was super predictable to me see i was halfway paying attention in the beginning why'd you say why you think what was predictable about it what did you did you see everything that played out coming the way it ended up like you seen her yeah, pretty much. I, 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 to be completely honest with you, that entire movie I could like see happening two scenes. The, the first mm-hmm. two minutes, I was like barely like into it because I felt like I seen it in the trailer already. Mm-hmm. And I, the other reason I don't mess with it like that is because I've seen movies like this before, or with that same sort of vibe. It's a nice vibe though. I like that little thriller vibe. Like, yeah, it is. I just felt. It, I felt like, it, like I said, it was super predictable to me. It's like I, a fight for your life scenario. It reminded me a little bit of Misery too. It's with it, uh. You know, Kathy Bates in them. Yeah, I, I can't say that it's original. No. You know what I'm saying, but man, yeah, we can say shit out here. It's not an original hey, man, ass look. movie, but it's. I thought what we were getting into, it was a nice watch for me. But I mean, what are we talking grade wise? One out of ten. What are you? Four. What are you, you're talking a four. Yeah. So like, just a little below average. Yeah. So this is a four, okay. <laughs> What you got, Torres? Torres recommended this, so he's got to have high. I thought it was a there. cool movie. Man, look, man, I, I gave it a uh, six and a half, you know? Mm. I thought it was a cool little movie, cool. Yeah, it's not a, the original. Of, it's it, it's more original than a lot of this other shit that's going on. It's, it's a good story, uh, great acting, uh, you know, believable characters. Um, storyline was... I feel like they added their own flavor to the storyline, even though they took, they maybe borrowed shit from different shit. Um, nobody's sexy in this movie. <laughs> I don't need that. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, so you know, she's adorable. She's adorable. Uh, look, anybody, everybody watching this, I need y'all to let me know. <laughs> right. Is this girl? Let us know in the comments. Please, we might do a poll. Do a poll on Sarah Paulson on is she a bad bitch? Is Sarah Paulson a bad bitch? 
Please let us know. I said, I said, right. You're going to lose on a lot of these polls because there's going to be communities of people that fuck with her. She has a cult following. Okay, okay like listen. The community is going to be a lot smaller than the community that does. What I'm saying her. is the girl is not a bad bitch. All right, that's fine. She's a good actress. I fuck with her movies. <laughs> but my in depth uh, analysis <laughs> on this is like, okay, it's not very original, so I can't like give it super points. But no idea is original, but, nigga. But. Yeah, as Nas would say, and as mm. you know, great philosophers would say. But um, as Taurus said earlier, the payoff in the end was nice. Instead of like kind of getting like closure on you know maybe her going having this happy life, it, it gets a little dark, and it's like oh, this bitch is getting revenge. So I was like oh that's that's kind of tasteful for me. I I appreciated that ending. It was a nice yeah. cherry on the top because I wasn't necessarily expecting that for me that was like oh that's the left turn that i needed yeah, you know what i mean yeah. it definitely needed to complete the whole yeah. you know what i'm saying you, you gotta say the ending was smooth the, right? the, the the ending was the one part that i didn't really see coming yeah i didn't think so she that was a nice thing like so we knew we wasn't in some like super new idea original type joint but i thought the acting was on par she she's a perfect crazy bitch she she plays a crazy bitch to the t spot on the girl i thought did a great job she had a lot of she had a lot of uh moments to prove her acting range her versatility she got to get in her bag for what pretending to be not pretending but acting as an asthmatic you know what i'm saying crawling on the floor oh you know what i mean a yeah. little fun fact Crying. that girl is an actual uh what you call that paraplegia can find paraplegia she's in real life she oh, really so she can find to a so she wasn't acting then okay so i mean that, <laughs> yeah. that's that makes it a little easier for yeah, her actor, it's actor. true i guess that's not that's acting smart by the that uh, the casting then. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to give credit to them. Casting somebody that actually can really live that life. And uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It came off real. It came off uh, authentic. So, you know. I felt everybody did their job, you know. Her going to the, to the uh, pharmacy to kind of peep game, you know, and then being shocked, like, it all, yeah. it all delivered for me on the acting and the screenwriting. Like, it, it all. So, for me... I'm going to give it <clears throat> a 5.9. And uh mm -hmm. I think I that's think what we that's, with it. that's good enough. It's it's for me it's right above average. The 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 ending puts it a little above average for me and I think it's a nice little 1 hour and 30 minute watch, not too long. Definitely you're in the thick of the of the action, the whole movie, you know what I'm saying? So it's worth it. So check it out. So what we check got? Check this shit out. We got a four. Was it a four and a half or a four? No, I was a four. You you got the math on this or what are we at? Would, I, would you say six and a half? Six and a half for me. So it was. Y'all gonna figure out y'all uh, ratings? Like five point five. Plus five point nine. Plus five point something. So we got a 5.5, slightly above average movie. I'm, Check I'm, that out. I'm, I'm cold. Listen, <laughs> the movie is... <clears throat> excuse me. The movie is, the movie is official. Check that motherfucker out. It's, it's, uh, it's going crazy. So check this shit out. The next pick we got on here, let's, uh, we'll say the best for last, but this next pick, I want to see... Did y'all watch it? I hope y'all watched it. Which one? The Tax Collector? Mm -hmm. Did you watch it, Taurus? Yeah, nigga. All right, so you, you about to shit on it, right? <laughs> hey, man. This is what you uh This was my this what recommended. You um, Come on, get the fuck out of here with this internet. Know. Click on click on connect what? automatically. Did you watch it, uh Ramon? Yeah, I watched it. All right, Ramon, let's let's hear your take on it right off the bat while we're trying to figure First this off, shit out. First off, let me introduce the movie. It's the tax collector and uh it's starring uh Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf playing a playing a gringo es uh es espanol gringo <laughs> you know um Let's look at the ratings here. 4.7 out of IMDb, 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Dang. So it's got shitty reviews. It's definitely been fully shitted they on. Shitted on it, full blown. Shitted on it. Came out. Talking about big turds. Came out this year. Um, the cast, Bobby Soto, played your boy David. She's you know bad what I'm saying? That's a nice wife. name. The wife was, was cute. Name. Cynthia, was it Carmona? Carmona? Which one? The, the wife, you said? The wife. wife. Yeah, the wife. George, was, George the wife. Lopez yeah, was yeah. in on that joint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and I bet y'all didn't even peep because y'all ain't really into the fight game like that. Brian Ortega from the UFC, who's actually fighting for a title, 
end of March is in this movie as a uh, as a character, and he actually did a decent acting job. So I'm gonna say that first. But mm. Moan, let's start out with you. Um, straight up, you know, Mexican American gangster, gangster, drug dealing, money collecting, ass busting, killing film. What you what you think? I mean, I think this film definitely uh, is watchable. Okay. Um, Shia LaBeouf's acting as a Mexican, it was, it was okay. Um, I felt like he should have been. Was he Mexican? I think that there was a huge debate. Like there was, it was a huge deal when I mean, he had came a, out. He had an accent. I know he right. says he's there half huge, Jewish. Yeah, there, I'm say there was a huge debate when it came out because people didn't like it. But I think the director or the writer came out and said, "Nah, he's actually like a white." He's lying. The nigga was. He was trying, <laughs> the, the fucking director was lying. He was like a nigga. white guy who grew he's up. A, he was trying to protect like, himself so that they won't. The fucking like movie that. wouldn't tank. The nigga was definitely a Mexican nigga in this shit. I mean, his yeah, his no. accent was in and out, but he definitely was trying to. That's like a white guy on. that grew up in Mexico or something. That was that's well, what the director mom said. That's a, a that's, a, that's, a, that's a solid cleanup though, right? <laughs> this is a white guy who <laughs> grew up in the fucking. Then it's, then it's no, that's actually cleanup. the best cleanup I ever heard he's in my half life. Mexican. So his mom is Jewish and his dad is Cajun, so he's probably from New Orleans. Cajun, Cajun, Cajun. They got that in there as a Cajun, as an Cajun nigga. It's basically like I don't know if they want to say Creole or what, but basically you from New Orleans. Um, if you're an so American, with the Mexican accent, man. Um, but people well, did try movie. to give him a shit ton. No, it's not a Mexican. It's French speaking. He has a Mexican that accent. Was, that was what movie, he though. actually is, not what yeah. he was. I think they actually added all this shit after oh. the fact. This is not what the fuck they was doing with this movie. But they that's a great way to just flip it. Is when niggas was mad and say we don't like this nigga playing this Mexican nigga. See, so but my thing it up. is the okay. solid clean up guys. The Shia LaBeouf <laughs> is in there as not the main character. Nope, not the main character. Right. He's a character, which is weird. Cause which it seems I think like he he's... definitely. I feel like in the trailer I'll they portrayed him it. as the main character. No, yeah. they did for sure. They're... He's Shia LaBeouf. He's the biggest star on the movie, aside from George Lopez. Okay, George Lopez got a little. Uh, he got a chunky role Couple in there, but it's not heavy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I'm okay with Shia LaBeouf being the literal lone white person in the movie. Have we not seen Blood In and Blood Out? <laughs> yeah and these niggas did a better job by the way but yeah dude was Mexican or he was up in there speaking Spanish I think but well no that dude was white in that movie it be white dudes you know what yeah. I'm saying Trinidad. up in the Mexican you know they grew well that up. nigga was supposed to be white and was, was he's supposed he to be half half yeah. and half you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. but you know we don't know that we didn't get to digging in all into their backstories and shit but I was okay with one white person being on there being up with the shits but come on go ahead basically this movie's about Couple drug dealers going around collecting all their payments and shit for uh, what's his name? Wizard. Wizard, a yeah. A guy called Wizard. He was he's running in, shit from the inside of the jail. Yeah, he's um Man Wizard. I feel like Shia LaBeouf. Hey, let motherfuckers know. I feel like he I feel like they should have had a bigger part for him during the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Cause we all they was beefing him up to make him some Super nigga, <laughs> yeah. like some super ghost. That was it was Reaper weird. Nigga. Top dog nigga. It was weird how they made him like he was like the guy, and then he just got he didn't abducted. Kill nobody even the man. <laughs> it was a letdown. He, they went he and got killed him. one person. His character <laughs> was a letdown. He was know. called the Reaper. They went and got him, and he died. It was, oh, and he, he's gone. All right. Yeah, I thought that was a bit. I wanted him to get some killing in. I wanted to get to see him doing some work. And, I kept uh, waiting for him at the end to like pop up somehow. There was no way. They stomped, I mean, they they stomped his face in. Right, I know, but I wanted it. I mean, was, just was, just the, his character in the movie is such a weird way to go out. There was some great gore in this movie. A lot of confusion way. going on with and, that um, The acting, I didn't. No, fuck the acting. This shit was predictable as fuck. The movie? I predicted everything in this movie. Well, it seems like y'all predicted some every death in this movie. Oracles over there. Yeah, who nah, is these was, niggas? That was kind of. It was kind of a predictable movie. I mean, I already knew what was coming. All right, now you niggas are saying every movie is predictable, nigga. Of no. course, certain things, certain elements. They, okay, they 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 build up the predictability for you though. Maybe like the, the final "I love yous" and shit, and I got your back for life. That, and that shit. part was stupid. You 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 know who's gonna die in this movie. All right, well before we get to your take. I got to jump in because I just got to talk about this movie for y'all start because I'm feeling like y'all about to shit on it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> See, one more thing. His favorite the movie main nigga, his acting was maybe a five out of ten for me. The main nigga? The other I spent I, Mexican nigga. The tears I needed to see mm. from some moments I didn't see. Mm. So, 
Yeah, it was. I, I feel like they should have had a different nigga play that. He's not Denzel. We're obviously about to do a Denzel movie. No, he's not on that if level. My wife dies. I'm crying. We about to get in that. I know he he probably couldn't drop those tears, but they did do a good job of taking the camera off him, so we didn't necessarily have to notice those tears. You know what I mean? Like they did a good job shooting around that uh, non-ability to. We need cry. to see that though. I know, but we got some it's yelling. It's a movie at the end of the day. We, we need to see that. We got some yelling. Listen, I've, I've. To go defend that terrible acting, nigga. <laughs> Uh, some of this shit was corny to me too. What I can he say, says it's not Denzel, but what I can say is, as men, yes, that is a painful moment. But I, when I cry, it's tough for me to get to balling. You know what I'm saying? No, like I don't mean ball. I mean shed a few fucking tears. That's all I want to see. I feel you. He probably did shed some of them tears. He was in the bathtub with her at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga screaming like a bitch. Time man. had I didn't passed. See nothing. Time had yeah, passed. It wasn't you know? good. All right, let me get into my take. So, tax collector, Shia LaBeouf's acting, did he sell me I like Shia LaBeouf's acting. I wasn't sure if he was For what a half Mexican or a gringo. He just grew up around, the, 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 you know what I'm saying, in the, in the barrio, the Mexican hood, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I liked his character, though. I liked his character. The, his character was this person always looking over his shoulder, this reckless, crazy, like, lust for blood killer, but super, like, controlled, follow the rules, structured, usually, always yeah. tightening up his jacket, getting up, you know what I'm saying? Usually them type of niggas be quiet as hell in the movies, like the side... And, and he was quiet. Super kill. He niggas. was quiet around everybody except his main nigga. We just got to see him in the mo intimate moments with his main homie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He's talking to shit then. So, uh, interesting take. I liked his character, his... the. It was a letdown when he died. He died prematurely. He died way too fucking early, there was man. no payoff for that character. Yeah. So I will give you that there. Um, I thought the main character, um, Bobby Soto, who played David. Nigga had the same face the whole movie, same facial expression. I thought he did yeah. decent. I thought he did decent. I th was he up in there acting his ass off? No, but I feel like the role kind of fit him perfectly. You know what I mean? It was another one of them glove fit roles where he ain't got to do too much. He just playing his role. It's not too much range on the character. It wasn't right. too much range. He just had to get upset at the end when his when his <laughs> wife died. You know what I'm saying? He let down on that moment. But every yeah. other moment after that... And when <clears throat> he found out his kids were gone. When he found out his kids were gone. Okay, we got that, a couple yeah, emotional moment moments was... where he fell off. But everywhere else through the movie, I was fine with it, okay? The story? I thought the story was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was very entertaining. It was kind of slightly... You, you didn't know that it was his dad off bat, though. Nah. You didn't know it was his dad off bat. I kind of put it together as it was coming towards the end of the movie. To me, that was a little bit different because it was like, this isn't some nigga that just happened to grow up and be in this lifestyle. Like, he actually didn't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was groomed for it. He was born into this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought that was unique because he didn't want to be in that lifestyle. He wanted to, mm -hmm. he wanted to have, a, like he said to uh, to Creeper, you know, he's like, you can be, you can have an angel too. You know what I'm saying? You can live in two worlds, you know? So yeah. he wanted to get out of that world. I like that element of the story. I feel like it was a well-written story. We got into some dark, the some of the dark culture of the Hispanic, you know what I'm saying? With the, with the rituals the, and the- The villain yeah. did his, the villain oh, did his the, thing. The other guy, that's yeah. a real thing. That, that's a real part of some of their culture, you know what I mean? And we got we got to really, that was the darkness of the movie that we really got to get into and see that I feel like they don't do a lot of showing that in yeah. uh, in these, you know, Mexican, Hispanic little banger movies, you know what I'm saying, with the cartel. They be cutting heads off, all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And we get to see how their minds are when they're in that mode. I thought that was interesting That's and I thought point. that was a little bit new. Speaking of cutting heads off. <laughs> He's talking about the, in the movie. Did they cut? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of cutting heads off, they, George Lopez got his head cut off. George Lopez, he did his Think thing about too, that moment. They, he showed, he's like, look, man, I need you. It's, you're going to have to switch sides, bro. Here go your uncle's head. That was Y'all seen that in the movie? Yeah, that was, have that, you seen that, that in the movie? That was hard as fuck. Oh, have we seen that before? No, nah, I've never seen it. And then before. you see the, the way they shot it, though. They shot the emotion. He might not have acted the emotion, but they shot the emotion into that scene where it was like, Whoa. 
this nigga's got to make some decisions right here, right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I appreciated all of that. So, got some help from the niggas at the end. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of corny. Hit up the bloods. It, pay, it was a payoff. You know what I'm saying? Corny. It was a it was a part in the movie that it paid off. You know what I'm saying? So we had a little payoff. It was it was, it was cool to see the niggas working with. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. Yeah. Old boy came through with the bloods, and they was riding a little too hard for him, but. Yeah, that that part is kind of corny. Like, it's riding they, too they hard for him. They got to riding for him too hard, but he, they said he was a light. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was a candle in the darkness. Right? So you had to ride for him. <laughs> Other than that, what I give this movie, um, <clears throat> I give it a six and a half. I give it six point nine. Six point nine? Yeah. You give it a higher rating than me. Yeah. I mean, wow. it's it's rewatchable. That's I'm why not, I, it's no, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying just that doesn't match up with what you were just saying. <laughs> I mean, I would watch it again. So he liked it. See, Ramon's still. I'm not gonna shit out. on it like you think I'm gonna shit on it. What you got I, for me? I I liked it. I there were just a couple things about it. Like the ending was a. I didn't like the the part where uh, Shia LaBeouf's character dies. That was like we already talked about that. That was dis- that, that was a letdown. Um. I just and, didn't and like the, the fact v- that he died. Period. You just or at I the just, time that he died because you were into right. his Towards character. The, and, yeah, I liked he his character. He did a good character. job. He was the I liked, best character liked, in the movie. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Um. And then, and then the very end when they went in and killed old dude, I just felt like that was. I needed more. Like, from how that wasn't too. he as protected? That's what I was. That's what I'm saying. There was a, like one guy. Like none of these niggas. There was one guy. All, all of these niggas are supposed to be. I. That's my let. Right. All these niggas are supposed to be bosses, and right. they got. They went and got. They went crew. and got the main character. He had ten and, niggas in his crew. Right. They whacked. They got him the all, main no character crew. and five bloods, mm. and went and just <laughs> killed him. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. They let you know the power of niggas, though. Actually, gonna make me change my rating here. <laughs> so. I, I, but I liked everything else, like up to that point. Like I liked the Shia did a good job. I liked his character. The main wow, character. I wish that was his. His movie. Yeah, the main character's acting was it wasn't I don't think it was anything to like he did he did what he needed to do. He did what do. he needed to do. Yeah. So I mean I gave it a six out of ten. Mm. So where we at Taurus? Let's go. Man look, I'm gonna just tell you the rating on it, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. <laughs> um the storyline was actually I like the storyline. Okay. I let's, didn't let's walk through it. let's walk through it. Let's watch him do what Ramon did. Let's walk through <laughs> it. No, no. Y'all niggas, it's a difference what's going on. This movie was a decent <laughs> storyline. The screenplay was good. Yep. I didn't like these characters in this movie. Mm. They're not likable characters. They're not believable characters. Kay. This acting was not good in these in these in this movie. Kay. Shia, uh, what's his name? Shia. Shia. Mm-hmm. He's not good, bro. What wasn't that wasn't good? Nothing was good. Was it just the, the accent? Good. Was it just the accent? Look, maybe it's just me. I'm a little bit of a. Was it the accent? There, the accent was in and out. There were some times where that's it was just like, oh, that's sometimes a white dude talking. Sound like yeah. a full, you can't have a full blown. Bro, you can't white. expect a white dude to he let him try to get it in. You know what I'm saying? Then, then to have somebody else do it. I feel the, the, the roll right, call for right. a nigga to be in here speaking his accent, nigga. You, I can't. You know, I one can't. scene you're over here talking exactly like motherfucking Brad Pitt, and then another scene you and this bitch talking like goddamn it. Uh, Hector, somebody. It would get the in and out. <laughs> Baby Joker. Hey, what's funny is Hector's in the movie. <laughs> oh, yes. you know Caesar, the, some the shit. The nigga that always plays Hector. The, 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 he's in every every movie. Hector in every fucking movie. What's yeah, that? Yeah, I he was in, his uh, name. Yeah. He, he always say Holmes too. <laughs> Typecast like a motherfucker. But um, yeah, George Lopez was the best of the movie to me. I mean, I it, it was nice Lopez. to see him. It was serious. nice to see him on that type of I role. Even, I, I'd never even seen him in a movie. I don't think. But I was gonna say I didn't even peep it was him until I had to like double take. So I was like, oh shit, yeah. he gained like sixty pounds for the role. Look like <laughs> yeah, yeah the nigga's just, supposed to give him an Oscar. So yeah, I give him just, an Oscar and shit for this shit. He's just getting up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, <laughs> yeah, but um. You know, I really wouldn't even recommend this one to be real. Um, mm. The storyline was cool. I just hate to see something like this and uh, it be wasted. This is a strong storyline. Somebody else could have took it and made it better. They got the wrong like people to do one. it. I feel you. Just bring in. I mean, it's just it's a I, low budget movie. You know and I, mean? I give them that. It could be low budget. I'm cool with that. I'm just saying, like, if niggas could have took this and made it better some with the, some of the improving some of the acting. Um, casting it better. I don't think it was casted well either. I think we needed to get better people. The only movie. bad characters to you was Shia LaBeouf and the main character. I mean, I didn't really I mean none of the two main characters. So I suppose. Well, the villain is the main character. But he doesn't show up till what seventy percent through the movie. 
40. 40. Is it 40? It shows up probably at the, right before maybe. halfway. Yeah. It's an okay movie. Uh, look, y'all can check it out if y'all want to, um, but it's just not for me, not to my liking. But hey, do four, what you got to do. Check it out. Half. Four and a half. That's where I'm at with it. Four and a Fuck half. with yeah, it if you want I, to. I'll give it a if solid not, six. I feel, I feel it. So we got a four and a half, two sixes, and a six and a half. Just going to put it right under six. I think. You said a four and a half, a six. Four and a half, two a six. six. Okay. Or a six. And two sixes and a six and a half, yeah. Did I see that nigga's face, though? When he... Oh, just dragging yeah, it, that you know, shit. It from the off the side of the van. Yeah, that, like, yeah, that was that was hard. Yeah, that that was that's a lot of that was a lot of makeup. These <laughs> are the these are the type of movies that I really need the people, people to um, that, make up that, on that. That, perform yeah, that well. Shit on, real as shit, right? So that we give it a five point seven five out of this. So above average, <clears throat> I think it's rewatchable. I think the story's dope. It's um, worth a watch. Me, I don't know if I'd rewatch it, but it's worth a watch. Let's ask this in the room, you know, because. We had one recommendation from me, one recommendation from Taurus. Which movie are you watching again if you got to watch a movie? Is it The Run or is it uh, Tax Collector? This, Tax Collector, all the way. Well, tax collector. You didn't I even didn't see like the, the other run, shit. So. So. Oh, yeah, Ramon, you example. I'm, okay, so, so, so Matt's the... Uh, I, well, you know, I didn't like The Run, really, so mm. Tax Collector okay. is what so I'm watching you, again. You, you lost that one as far as The Run. I'm not a ass nigga either. Like, it wasn't even horror, people. it was... It's a thriller. Man. Yeah. Survival horror. It's a suspense. Psy- psychological it's a, thriller. It's a thriller. I, think I don't even know if it's so much psychological. Under, All right. Genre. So let, we got this last one, this juicy one. Nice one we could really just sit with. I know we all watched it. If we was all real niggas, we all watched it. Yeah, you know, we checked it when out. When Denzel drops, you, you watch it. You Drop got, everything, right? We putting cases on all you motherfuckers. Other, <laughs> other dude just won an Academy Award, I think. So it's starring Denzel Washington, uh, Rami Malek, yeah, Jared Leto. I think all of them get Oscar, matter of fact. Every last one, so, yeah. yeah, they all get Oscar. It's I'm, for something. Uh, it's the type. There's, the movie's there's called Little Things. It's starring Denzel Washington. Obviously, his uh, feature. He's his. Uh, it's not a debut, but his debut for the year. For the year, <clears throat> Just kicking the year it's off strong. It's always good to see him. In this something. is probably the biggest movie of the year that's released so far. Cause it's Denzel. Yeah, I think it's the really the first big one that's at the show and in the theaters. HBO, in, so HBO yeah. Max. Yeah, yeah. Um, Denzel, Rami Malek, Jared Leto. I'm gonna let Taurus take it away first. So this movie, this is an interesting movie. It's a lot going on here, a lot to uh, break down. But basically, the storyline is you got Denzel's character who. Basically was a detective in his earlier times. And he had some shit happen during the time of his time as a detective. Um, so then he ends up becoming like what? Deputy. A deputy. deputy. In a different county. In a different, different county. county. Like a little small town. Yeah. And he links up with uh, Rami's character who's like the top nigga, the top nigga, top detective in that town, they link up and try to. What I didn't get is why did they send him <clears throat> back in the first place? Because it, it was obviously because once we were, get to the end, it was like they didn't want him to be there. They, they didn't want him to, to be there. Yeah. So if somebody sent for him. Why is he going there in the first place? That's what was Weird. one of the things that I was trying to actually because you watched it twice too, right? We'll just we'll just say we'll go ahead. We'll say it, it, I think you watched it twice. All right, okay. So, um. So the whole movie is really just about these two police officers trying to solve these murders that went on, and it's they, the same. It's he, Denzel feels like it's the same killer, right? Right. It That's started the, yeah. when he was a detective. When yeah. he before he got shipped off. Exactly. So the whole movie, you're really trying to figure this shit out with them. Like, damn, hold up, is it dude or is it? You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things that you really got to pay attention and. Watch all the details. And watch the little when you watch it the second time, it's kind of a little few things here and there that you kind of pick up with it. Um, but man, this is a great. First off, it's a great acting performance from everybody in this movie. Denzel. Who went the hardest? Did this man? I'm gonna have to say. Um, I'm gonna say Denzel. It's funny because. They didn't ask a lot from Denzel in this movie. Yeah. 
but he still be finding his little ways to be throwing yeah. a little extra shit yeah. in in the, in the fucking acting. And let niggas know. Let him know. Like, when he's laying up in the room and he's sitting there playing with his lip and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be doing, he be just sliding shit in. Like, I can act, y'all. Y'all niggas better pay attention. Act, it was like a competition, low key. They all, everybody was like, oh shit, this is Denzel. We finna let these niggas know what's up with this shit. But nobody's gonna out act Denzel in a movie. Not I, not on the same. I, these I, niggas tried. be real. That nigga tried. Uh-oh. Jared Leto tried. It's about to get juicy. He didn't have as big of a role, but I think Leto probably did the best job acting. He was really believable as just a crazy out yeah, there motherfucker. You, you believe that shit. He, he, he held his he own. Play, he's a, he played uh, that type of role in every movie. He might have did the best. He might have had the best character, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He had the most potential to be that. You mean? Kind of, it, his character in hindsight, looking back at the movie, Denzel's character was the best, most interesting character. And I'll get into that. Mm-hmm. But... For face value, watching the movie off bat first, Leto's character is the most interesting character. But Rami's character is kind of like you trying to find out what he's yeah. about too. So like they all did, they, they, they all got it's layers to all of them. They all got presence, is yeah. what I'll say. They all demand, you, they all demand your attention on that's the what screen. Happens when you get three what superstar actors all in the same well Rami's new to this shit man I fuck with him hard he though. been around for he, a little bit a yeah, he's newer than the rest of the other he two watched, or not watched, Robot. he was in Mr. Robot I, I messed with that I was hard. trying to keep up with some of that shit I couldn't he I looks couldn't like a even. fucking robot too in real life <laughs> man them eyes are weird bro <laughs> he's got a weird he's got a weird thing and he's been in some weird roles and I think he's like embraced that now. he's a super good actor though nah he, he handled his business They all of them handled this shit Mm-hmm. in this movie and um you know this is it, it definitely was a, one of those ones if you turned your head or checked your phone you was miss gonna miss something. some shit you had to pay attention you know you gotta yeah. really like watch this shit the the little things like for real like this was like one of those movies where, one of those metaphors did, you, those yeah. Yeah. Time, did y'all rewind the movie at all Nah, but I caught so many things. I was say I caught myself rewinding it like I definitely rewinded four or five a couple of parts when I was like, like, "Who was that? I was yeah. at the what theater. Was he at there? What, what was they just saying? Right. I had to rewind it. What the fuck did he just say? You know, you had to pay right. attention. Yeah, no, I know, but and I, you still didn't get it after you rewinded the shit. A lot like, of times I would rewind and realize I didn't miss anything. It was just one of them. You was looking in. I just expected there to be something extra there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, before we get into your review, um little basic synopsis i want to get into it a little further but so yeah he's this deputy that used to work in la now he's a small time for some reason he's connected to the movie starts out with a murder the chick gets away type shit he gets sent off to la to collect some evidence to track down some criminal that they that's from their city or something like that he used to be a cop out there you can tell right away when he goes and sees the new the new what is it? The chief. The chief is his old partner. We find out in the yeah. end. And the chief, soon as he's seen him, like, what, the, what are you doing here, bro? You know what I mean? And we find out. Obviously, he's spo- he not supposed to be there because yeah. they 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 on some other shit. But uh, so yeah, he's a ex detective, still a cop, ex detective, who we find out is was shipped out because he went crazy basically after he couldn't solve a murder you know and now he comes back and he's back into a whole crime scene rami takes his spot as the new guy in the in the in the department rami's like let me see who's this new colombo cat you know what i'm saying like or you know he finds out he's the old man Mm -hmm. at the spot brings him in on a new crime that happens to be damn near the same as the ones that denzel was looking into um, and now they back on. Now he's back on it. Now trying to get the killer. He was only supposed to be in town for a day. Now he's he's back on it. He done lost relationships with his kids, his wife over this. Now he's back in the city, trying to track shit, shit down. Yeah, hard to they find a a a, a, a very a likable suspect. Not likable in the fact that we like him, but I mean he did a good job acting. But mm. he's very. Uh, He's got a lot of things that make him look like he did it. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to dig into as far as what I got to say about it. Because the movie ends, obviously, Rami ends up killing the dude because he's getting under his skin talking about his family and shit. And they already think he's the killer. And he, dude's, he's obsessing about finding this girl he done promised that he done promised the family he Mm -hmm. gonna find. And, uh... 
basically what I really wanted to touch on was that it's a it's a new spin because it's showing the other side of the law. Yeah. And the cops getting it wrong. You know yeah. what I mean? The cops is, and then them protecting protecting each they other. They each other. But, they but it also shit. shows you their mind too. Like, I thought that was crazy. By the end of the movie, it's like, hold up. This nigga Denzel's a serial killer in this movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he done already killed a couple people mm-hmm. in the movie. And he cool with it. And he trying to ease the uh Rami's conscience on that. Mm-hmm. But he was tripping about it. But Jared Leto's character, so this is we don't know if he did it or not. Obviously they show us at the end that they had no concrete evidence on it. None. And so that obviously still makes Denzel and them look like the bad guy. But there were so many little things mm-hmm. in here. He Jared's character had to be the guy to do it because remember when uh Denzel asked her, asked Rami, Rami's character, uh what did she what did what was the last you know, she was a vegan but she had some meat up inside of she her had stomach. Some roast beef He's like, stomach. What did she eat? He was like, Roast beef. He's like, it's the little things. Next scene, you see him profiling Leto, and he goes Roast into a beef. shop. I don't mm-hmm. know if y'all caught him, yeah. but did you Roast see the little beef. sign that said Roast Beef? Roast Beef, yeah. So it's like, okay, we got that. Her fridge wasn't working. He goes to the shop and finds out who was supposed to come repair it. So not only was Roast Beef her last meal, and he's obviously up in there getting Roast Beef, he also was supposed to fix her fridge. He also is in love with murders and crimes. Hold on. There was some milk in the fridge that was still, like, good. Everything else was rotten and shit. Right, well, yeah. Cause Denzel he, went back to his crib, found some milk. I don't know if that's a connection. No, but. it was bush beer, though. Bush beer. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, when he w- went through his garbage and shit, saw the same type of milk and shit. Yeah, yeah. so the, I'll, we'll, I'll, we'll use the beer. Shit. We'll use the beer for now. There were so many coincidences. The beer was the same beer in the fridge. Broken knife. Um, he had a yeah, a broken knife, but that wasn't that's not gonna be the knife. Dude was a smart he was too smart to not have been a killer. Covering his tracks way too hard. He knew every move with the cops, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he knew how to get out of all the situations. He was way too smart to just be some regular person. He also confessed to murders eight years prior. They turned him away because they say he wasn't. They say walk in people that confess to serial killings is never the never the ones. Maybe he knew that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he knew that would get him off. Um, I think he was a nigga that was just like you said obsessed with like a serial killer. Yes, he followed that shit. He studied this shit. Not only did he get a hard on from seeing pictures of the murder, right? That too. He was actually connected to the murder through the fridge. He was right. He was supposed to go. Yeah. He was supposed to go fix the fridge. So he was connected. And to me, that, that lets me know, like, I'm right there with Rami. Like, yeah, that's the nigga. We had to kill him. Had to kill him, so. Another clue is when he pulled up, when in Denzel, they was out there on that on the E-Way, and it was, was it 417? the exact mile the marker. Rice, exact of, spot. Of other murders. So, yeah, they was letting us know all the time. It was probably like 15 different clues scattered all through the movie or more. I mean, it was that a lot part of didn't do much for me though. That, that as far as like prove anything, because he has the police scanner in his living room. That's true too. So they, he would have known where it was. Well, that that clue, that, that clue specifically. But the fact that he was tied to the that was specific to yeah. the murder alone, he had a connection to it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the fact that he loves murders, and he's a crime buff, and he's that, getting well, hard ons from doesn't automatically make you a serial killer though. He's just too connected. That was the weird part about He's the movie. He's plugged in too hard with this shit. Watching the movie at the end of it, I still am not convinced it was him. I That'd am. be too easy. I am. There's way too many connections. It has you thinking, like, is it him? Is but uh, Yeah, but the, that's know. what I was saying. The, him being that crime buff and everything, I mean... You think he know what he's doing and it, but how he knows how to maneuver he, around that type of shit. He's a crime buff. The way he's playing games with these cops, bro... That's that's a different level of psychology. You know what I mean? Most niggas would freeze up. He's a smart. He nigga. just manipulated the fuck out of the whole situation, like like never before. Playing this games is, this... with the cops, right? We've yeah. seen that before in real life, though. <clears throat> I, I've never seen it. Have you seen it? Not nigga, to this the Zodiac level. Zodiac killer, 
first one that said but that's in the 80s bro that's like 70s 60s whatever this shit's in the 80s 85 90 1990 yeah that was another type of shit where he you know they was doing the same type of shit it's still at a time where technology obviously nowadays they get you if you got a cell phone but this took place in like the 90s this though. was the 90s yeah they made yeah. it i wasn't clear of that until i started the first seeing murders were like in the yeah. 80s though weren't they like 85 and shit yeah, yeah the, the flashbacks first were, yeah. <clears throat> but um in the mid 80s so I definitely think he was too connected to the murder and too much of a creep to not have done it. You know what I mean? Um, but that's what's dope about this movie is because we don't, we don't get closure on it, and I think that's okay. That's we, another keep part of this. wondering like being after a the cop fight. too. You don't get closure. I mean, you don't always solve a case. And I like the messages like no angels, like we're not angels. Yeah. You know In what the I'm saying? Like angels. Like, but that was all him trying to like. S- Soothe him for it, killing the nigga. Soothe himself because he killed the girl that actually got away. Right. That would have solved everything exactly. if, if he would have got it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So fucked up. Right. He's already he fucked in the head. Lives after that too, huh? So that would have saved a bunch of lives after that exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So obsessive detectives. I want to speak on Rami's acting specifically because mm. we know Let Leto did his thing. He he looked like a fake ass uh, Charles Manson. You know what I'm saying? Crazy ass nigga. Uh, Denzel obviously does his thing. He 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 made the most of I think what little things they asked him. Little yeah. things. How many times are we gonna say little things? Um, Rami's character was funny to me. Not that he was funny, but he was obviously like the new nigga out of the. He was the mm-hmm. least proven out of the yeah. three, and you can tell that he wanted it bad. Like yeah. he, he wanted this it moment showed. to shine. Yeah. In one moment that was funny for me. Is when uh, they in the car and he's, he he beats the window. He's like, fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. Nah, I'm good. And it's like, is this good acting? Is this bad acting? It's kind of funny. Is it overacting? I think it's good acting. Yeah, that's how I felt. It's funny that you say that. When it, You know, well, yeah, I wasn't that sure. That scene. Just that scene right It's kind of cringy. But this nigga kind of makes me feel like he's like... And don't get this wrong because Taurus loves this nigga. But he's like the Michael Jackson <laughs> of acting. Because he's super weird. You know what I mean? Super like standoffish, like corner of the eye. Like he's like Prince damn near as an actor. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> Think about it. Is he not? No, <laughs> you tripping. What are you talking about? Man? Like he's just awkward. He's very awkward. When you say he's like Prince as an actor, what are you talking about? Bro? Awkward. Is Prince awkward? Socially awkward. You know what I mean? He seems like the type of guy Prince where if he's awkward. not on set, he's not in public, or even, I guess if he's, if he's not on camera and he's out in public, he's off to himself. He's very awkward, I, I feel like. He, he might not have much of his own personality. Not outgoing. You know what I mean? I feel like when I say Michael Jackson, I, I say that because he's really, really good at, his, at acting, but I really say it because we know that Michael Jackson socially was very awkward regardless of that he was extremely talented you know maybe i'm reaching too far yeah but you get what i'm trying to say the comparison is he's weird. not a michael it's jackson a bad, it's, it, it, it's a bad comparison it just, i don't know he if made you me thought think of michael jackson too. i don't know why he made uh, me because it had physical features or you thought he maybe, might look like a motherfucking maybe physical features and <laughs> okay. just weirdness you know? i just i was thinking like if michael jackson was an actor like we know he wasn't <laughs> And he hit that window. I feel like that Michael Jackson was the exact same way. Come on, man. Um, think about if Michael did that. No, no, no. I think you, you're getting fucked up because you, you Michael might, be like, God damn it. He might have reminded you of him uh, physically, how he looked, but I don't think uh, nothing about it had to do nothing with Prince or Mike. So I'm, you, I'm reaching, but I feel, I feel like Rami's character. He does. He's just. He's got this awkwardness that you're drawn to. You know? Or was that the character? That was supposed no, to be that that's, way. that's Rami. I think it's Rami. Every, every show, every movie, See, he's, he's got the, the same video sort of game vibe. He was in, he was See, I'm not familiar with any of his previous work like I've, this. I've, so. come, I've, I've watched so much of it, like Mr. Robot, and then he was in... Uh, Did you not watch uh, 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 Bohemian... Uh, Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that was him on there? Yeah. He played he Freddie Mercury. Yep. Oh, he was Freddie Mercury. That was him. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was him. That's funny. Yep. Damn. Yeah, yeah, and not... I think that's what kind of got me in the music, like Michael Jackson, because Freddie Mercury's on a J- Mike Jack level. I was me. gonna say that he didn't, didn't give me none of those vibes in that fucking uh, Freddie Mercury shit. Bohemian Rhapsody. I didn't get that. 
You don't think he did a good job? No, he did a good job. I'm saying he didn't give me that, that energy. Y'all that speaking of like that awkwardness. I think it's because Freddie Mercury was just kind of an awkward person to begin with. He was a good person to play that part. But y'all saying like his personal shit is being shown on the screen. You see his, yeah, his if own you, if you go, awkwardness. If you, have you seen him in anything else? Is that a good actor to you, though? He's, well, just playing yourself. We don't really want to see nothing really about what yourself is on the fucking I mean, screen. He's really good at that role. Like that's what makes his character. Other people different. aren't gonna play those characters as well as he is. Right. It's just like Johnny Depp. You're not gonna see Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp in some Johnny Depp could have played that role. Normal he's an awkward nigga in real life. No, Johnny Depp. He get on the fucking that. movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could have. He would have did it better, probably. Yeah. I probably would have preferred to see Johnny Depp, but Johnny I'm, Depp. I'm cool with Romney on the come up. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm, I'm good with Romney. That I'm actually good. is a good. Pick. I like Romney. Yeah, I would have, I would have, I would have liked to see him, but do that. But um, I thought he did a good job. I, I like his acting. I didn't think it was nothing. He was the least impressive of the three, but I, he, yeah. everybody had their own like presence, and I feel like yeah. his was weirder, it was slightly funnier to see him trying to fight that battle amongst the other it was interesting and that and that's what's dope about it these niggas have so much respect for being in the denzel movie they was just like nigga we finna come out here and battle that i'm about to let these niggas know i'm a fucking actor nigga and i just <laughs> nobody, thought that was... nobody can rock with denzel though like but they thought they could he's shitted on so many people on on camera like yeah and you could just see it bro like denzel was damn near trying to like let them do their thing and just chill like you said it was still Better than both of them. His character wasn't written to like outshine these other Not characters. Not at all. But, but he just naturally. But his that character skill is the like most that. interesting character when you're reading this. When yeah. You're reading this story. It's yeah. like, oh, okay, this nigga's this nigga's actually twisted. These other, you know, what I'm saying. That's what's he's dope just about as this, twisted the, the as the killers. It, it's he's so in. obsessive about catching the killers. He's killing people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's I think that's dope for me. I think this will be my highest rating uh, of the year. Um, the what, niggas know. I think I'm gonna give it a seven, seven and a half. Give it a seven. I'm gonna give it seven point two. I'm gonna give it seven point two. Um, I like the story. It's a little different. I feel like it's a little original. I think it's, it's original for the most part. I like all the acting. Um, the ending. I like that we don't get closure. It's just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just fucked up, you know? And I in this in murder mystery is my jam. Like I yeah. love murder mystery. And uh it was a it was a hunt. I was up in there trying to figure out who the killer was and I was I was in the movie. I was in the movie with them in the car, staking out, you know what I'm saying? Peeping Shit, them. Dude. So I give it a seven point two. Where y'all at? You just basically took the words out of my mouth. I like how you had a really dive in and pay attention you can't can't oh i gotta can't go get something to eat real quick yeah you put something in the microwave no you gotta actually no let it flow yeah. naturally so um i give it a seven point give it a 7.8 i knew it I, I, I just read your mind right there what are we giving it matt uh i gave it a seven um it would have been i think a little higher because for I like movies that end in a way that leaves you either hanging or in a way that you don't expect it to end. Mm -hmm. This was not one of those movies. I kind of wanted that closure at the end to know if that was the guy or not. We did want that. But we can't get that. We We could have. Because he's... It would have made it softer. When Rami got the package from Denzel's character... You would have been fine. With yeah, he got the, he had the barrette. The in movie there. ended right. If it there. ended right there, yeah, that was good. Then then you saw Denzel throw the package of barrettes away. And I was like, oh fuck! Like, now I don't know. Just let you let just let you know. Like, right, it like lowered my score right there. <laughs> it let you know. So the title, he's like, it's the little things you got to pay attention to. He wasn't talking about the killers. He's talking about himself. Like look, yeah, it's the little yeah. things that's going to get you. The caught. movie's titled perfectly because it's the little things in everything. It's not just him. It's the little things in the in the investigation. It's the little yeah. things in a movie that we need to pay attention to. Yeah, it's, it's, that little thing. It's a just really, hating. it's a really good movie. I just wished, I wished the ending was a little. You didn't different. get what you wanted at like, the very you can't end. Always, I didn't what's know. that song? Who sings that song? <laughs> <laughs> I can't always get what you want. I know, get but I feel like need. if I get what I want, I'm giving you, it a higher. You got rate, what yeah. you needed because you never got that before. You know what I'm saying? So be thankful. I've had, I mean, you've had, we've be had those before. We've had movies end on cliffhangers and stuff like that before. No, but you didn't get that one, though. <laughs> Cliff, so you don't like cliffhangers at all? Too. No, I do. That's he, what I said. He, I like he cliffhangers. He liked the story so much this, and he fell in love with movie, the character so much he wanted them to win. This mm. movie particularly, I wanted closure on it. I, I don't mind cliffhangers in certain movies. There are certain movies Would you that, have liked it if you knew that he wasn't the killer? 
Yeah. Mm. I would have liked that too. If there was concrete that he yep. wasn't. Yep. Either way, it would have been fine. If we did it, change the ending, it, it would, we would need it to be that he wasn't for sure the killer. Right? I would have fucked way. with it either way. No, if, if, it, if it didn't end high in it for me, I would be cool. I would rather have it just be like, okay, we know that he wasn't the killer. And then it still kind of have you leaving like, damn. I see what you're saying. Because if he wasn't, you know if, I, if it ended where he wasn't the killer, I think it might have been That would have been worse. Better. I, feel like, I think know. I think either way would. Have I'm been cool with what they did for but, me, but uh, you know I see what you're it saying. It keeps you thinking. It. It's like damn part two. Yeah, uh, we're nah. not going. I mean, there won't yeah, be. Yeah, but, yeah. We, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be cool to dig uh, in deeper into the story. If it was mm. a book, I'd go buy that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say come out with the story on a book. I think this is a book actually. Is it based on? A book? Uh, they said um, that they this movie this this screenplay they was working on this shit in the 90s, so they had this motherfucker what? ready over oh. 20 years ago. The screenplay for this God shit. They got the so. right. They was waiting until Denzel got old. I don't know what they was doing, <laughs> but they could have made they this said, shit. They said the main character needs to be about 65, 70. So, uh, that's just a pretty good thing. You know what's funny? I thought Denzel years. was about to get in the movie and start getting into his like exceptional, extraordinary nigga bag, you know? <laughs> and he got to on the crime scene. He's like, look back, got to doing some shit, sneaking around the scene. I'm like, oh, he already knows what's happening from being in, the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. typical Denzel, he the, just the coldest nigga. <laughs> and, then we, and then we find Boy. out he's not. He's actually a, a dud. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, he's it's, it's, it's crazy. Goddamn murderer. That's the first time he took the L in the movie, except for Training Day. Yeah. And he was a beast in Training Day, so it was just like... This nigga has played several cops in movies, and he's did them all differently. Cops, yeah. So... I mean, that's niggas got just mad skills on it, you know. So, so what do we give it? Uh, you give it a seven, you I said? said seven, yeah. What you give it? Man, I gave it a motherfucking seven and a half, man. So this is our highest rated one right now. Denzel's coming out the uh, gate strong. It's the acting we got to attribute that to the cast. Yeah. I did really like the the way it was shot too. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt like we was in the '90s in that bitch. Yeah, did I didn't bitch notice out. it right away because yeah. obviously we grew up in really the, 90s. the only thing yeah. that made me feel '90s was the cars. I witnessed, I noticed the cars were all older cars. None of the other stuff really said '90s to me. That I feel like that that the building that they were in the the police department. Yeah, that looked way too new to be the '90s to me. <laughs> No, I mean, still things, bro. Yeah, that's the I think they did a good job. We knew, we knew for sure that it wasn't the current time. We knew it wasn't present time, right? You know, the cops it, go ahead. The, it almost together. looked it modern with like all it. the glass windows and all that in there. You know? It's the mm. cops, bro. They twenty years. They about 15, 20 years ahead. You know what I mean? <laughs> that yeah, so, no. I fuck with this movie, man. They did their thing. This is I don't even know, man. This nigga's just gonna keep going. Full force, this nigga Denzel. Yeah, he yeah. just won't stop. It's appreciate him while he's still here. Even man. if he do little fucked up movies, he's about to, he finna act on his. He gonna do his job. He's, he's about to he don't take fuck around. Morgan Freeman to a whole nother level, like being the old nigga. No, but the thing about it, he might have the best fucking f discography of all time in acting. I know. See, I want to get into this top five actors. I said we was gonna Ooh. do it, but I don't think we we could we could just do a light touch on it right now. We, no, no, no. I don't know if we can do a light touch on that. I'm just saying we could set it up for the next go. You might have it because because yeah, he's you know. he's chopping at the bits right now. This nigga's ready to get in. <laughs> no. So, so let's just say our top <laughs> fives. We'll say no. our top fives and we'll get into it next time. Um, but this movie's dope overall. It ended up getting a seven point four from us here at Aim for the Bushes. Check this uh, shit out, man. So watch it. It's definitely the best movie of the year and probably the best, best movie. You watch and real it quick, I actually looked at all these reviews. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. reviews is funny because the, the people nobody, just, they don't Nobody like this movie. Because they didn't get it. They don't know what did the they fuck get, is they, going on. Did, is it I don't see reviewed? any reviews. Well, the bad reviews is what this is what they call. Oh, I, I went on YouTube. You know what I mean? And uh, and it was a lot of bad reviews. I, I I don't think it was more bad than good, but it was just a lot of people saying like it's, got it's a terrible point. movie. I didn't oh, get no, it. This is a different. Movie. I was lost. No, that's the that's the one. For you know, they a lot just, of motherfuckers said it was lost. Great acting, but terrible movie. Like this is this is what it, what you see in every. They not. They're just not click on click on IMDb. It should have a score. What's gonna do? It'll say uh, the same typical six point three. Yeah, no, they're not gonna be doing Denzel like that. 
Yeah, but but most of them was giving him his love. They were just like, man, the, uh, this is his worst the, movie. Because everybody of, said the plot was trash. Yeah, they didn't. They just they didn't understand. It was. Um, I mean, that was one of the things that we said too. It was really like, why did why was he there? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They didn't never really like. This this is a complex story. This is not no shit so, for the for the average I, motherfucker. So what are we actually like getting him. here? Is yeah. it? Are they? What are we saying here? What are they saying? It's a. It's tomato, Rotten Tomato gives it 47%. The audience gives it 64%. It's 47% by critics. Yeah. Oh, fuck it's these critics, critics. bro. This, the audience score is lining up with our score. A yeah, little bit and that's more, how it so. be sometimes, I've always, too. When shit. I go on Rotten Tomatoes, I always go off the yeah. audience score. So that's what we got here for y'all on the little things. Hardest movie of the year. Recommend it. Uh... You know, it's not touching those real hard topics like American Skin and One Night in Miami, which definitely have a dope place and do need to be watched. But, you know, the acting in here is just you can't even fuck with it. So, top Yeah, movie watch so this far. movie when you're just chilling. Well, you ain't got no distractions, none of that. Just chill because you can't miss shit. You got to... Right, get your popcorn or your yeah, food before post up. whatever. Um, yeah, no. So that's all we got for y'all on the movies. Hold on. Is there any movie that we're looking forward to? I was gonna ask, what are we looking? What are we looking at? Cause I I, I got some dope movies I'm that I'm seeing that they coming out. I'm definitely looking forward to Mortal Kombat. Hold up. Well, how soon is that? I'm talking about in the next couple of weeks here. Oh, in a couple of weeks. They got that uh, <laughs> Judas and the Messiah. You see that? I seen that trailer a minute ago. Is that coming up? What the next Fred, month? Fred Hampton. That's on the twelfth. The Fred Hampton story is on the 12th. February. They're okay. they about to get us in. Uh, hopefully, I think it's a true st- or like a version of the story. True events, yeah. Um, but we got that. That's coming on the 12th. And I know some uh, movies is dropping next week. When is that uh, Godzilla shit come out? I thought I, I saw it That's the one that I... I didn't think I was really going to mess with it. Then I saw the trailer, trailer and I'm like, man, God, now I want to see this. You gotta see that motherfucker, man. That's gonna be it. We need one of them big action flicks like that, man. It's been they amazing. actually look so, like they did some put some money in this shit. Yeah, this is big money. Like really good CGI. That's one of them I mean, motherfucking CGI nowadays. Hundred million dollar shit. You Hell know? yeah, some, uh, all these movies were Marvel, supposed to drop. Some Marvel. Yeah, that's what it looked like on the trailer for sure. This one I ain't really tripping. So you got the Fred Hampton joint that's dropping on the twelfth. I'm looking forward to that Tom and Jerry shit too. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Tom and Jerry. There's some shit that we actually on, need man. to get to. Hey, Jerry movie the fuck? Are they a Tom re- and Jerry movie coming out. Are they redoing Is it live this? action like they're doing all the other cartoons? No. They call- <laughs> <laughs> live action Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Niggas don't want to see that. Like a real no, they're not live action. They, they still the cartoons. Nah, we good. We're not watching that, bro. We're not watching uh, fucking Tom and Jerry. You yeah. gonna watch the new Winnie the Pooh when they come out too? Man, hey, don't disrespect Tom and Jerry. Oh, right. yeah, that Malcolm and Marie comes out on the 12th oh, or the yeah. 5th, that I one, believe. Yeah. That one looks decent. Uh, let's see here. With Denzel Jr. Jr. Yup. Denzel Jr. Jr. <laughs> so, we got that joint. Um, they better have his laugh. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want it. <laughs> we, don't, we can't have that. Man, we can, you don't want a Denzel number two? That's the problem. He's gonna have to. He's he gonna have to figure out how to, you know, stay out of that shadow and do his own thing. So that's gonna be. That shadow that's gonna be the struggle for him trying to make sure that he's, he's never gonna get out of shadow. Stand on his own. If he, I mean, I ain't gonna say that, but you know, biggest movie star of all time. Yeah. So Malcolm and yeah. the, Malcolm and Marie's. It's gonna be tough. Dropping. You got uh, Judas and the Messiah dropping. Um, Whatever is new dropping out, we're going to get it. Uh, quick, before we get out of here, top five actors. Go ahead. Go ahead. You just skip. Okay. Go ahead. No, I, I want to Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. The top five actors, <laughs> this is it right here, I'm going to tell you. There's no, there's no argument. You're just going to touch it. Yeah, we're not going to Shut argue. up. It's Denzel, 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 <laughs> Denzel. I, I knew that. Denzel. Okay. And that's where you're done with it? That's where you're done with it? talk about shit else. Denzel, Will. All right. That's are you going now? Yeah, Denzel, Will, Robert De Niro. Mm. Sydney Poitier. Let's do a live. He's a still alive. Too, time, too. Why, Why did I, I don't know if they dead. need to be alive? <laughs> and you said of all time. A live on screen. But you, you just saying some shit. That's not your top five. Nigga. A live on. on screen. That's my top five. You're lying, nigga. Okay, did you, you get said through Denzel it? five times? No, I'm just saying, I know Sydney's not in your top five, but go ahead, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, know you're just trying to hurry up and fill them five spots up. You couldn't think of shit, but he's the reason ahead. Denzel. All right, we're not getting to it. Did you get five, though? What's the last one? 
Harry Belafonte, right? <laughs> <laughs> what else is he going to say next? He going to say Eminem, 8 Mile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I was thinking of Johnny Depp. Okay. Mm. Well, that's what you got. You thinking too long? What you got? Yeah, this. I don't know. I got to think about this shit. Uh, I got Will Smith. Mm. Brad uh, Brad Pitt. I think was on mine. I had it written down. He's I, in I, some I of my favorite there. movies, but he's uh, not my favorite actor. Let me put him on the side then, because I can't remember if you, I put him in my top five or not. So I got Will Smith, Johnny Depp for sure, De Niro, mm. Leo. Fucking Leo. I'm tripping. Yeah. Mm. You tripping for that? Uh. I think Brad Pitt was my fifth one I had in there. I'd have to look at it again. All right. Okay. Denzel, Leo, in that order. I'm tripping. Right there. <laughs> Why did I forget Leo? Because uh, Sidney Poirier is better, apparently. I rock with the with the, with the the Johnny Depp. <laughs> Going with that. Will Smith is good, but... Uh, so don't be saying no buts about him. Bro. I'm not going to throw him in my top five. I don't know why. He's he's good, though. He's definitely really, really good. But Suit of happiness. He's improved too over the years. Okay, I'll put him in my top five. Will Smith, and then y'all might not like this, but it's just maybe it's. No, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll go there. Cuddy. You right? I wouldn't like that. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. <laughs> no, I, I fuck with that. That's so, that's, that's my top five. That's interesting. That's all we're gonna get it. We'll dig into it later. We'll do some more research and, and get to pulling up motherfuckers records and shit like that but that's all we got all right we done chopped it up for probably too long i gotta get these niggas out of my crib um i'm shinobi Gaines, taurus matt the problem moan these guys are pros think of what i'm thinking and for the bushes we out of here boo 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 right, <sighs>